Hello and welcome to the Cobalt Cafe. It's Thursday night and instead of Star Trek, it is now Star Wars. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Star Wars Distant Suns. Uh, we are trying to create a very cinematic experience here, so we'll be streaming this using Tabletop Simulator. Alright, so we are going to dive right into it, and we will meet the characters and mechanics as we go along. Do we want to just give a quick head count of who's here? Maybe not who's who we're playing? That's fair. Uh, yeah, so alphabetical order. I am Colin. I am the GM. Joining us tonight we have Everoth. Hello, I am Everoth. I'm playing as Evon, the Wookiee. Uh, not, not, awesome. not, not, not who you are yet. Just uh, <laughs> who you are. <laughs> not who you are. Just who you are. Got it. How he got into my pajamas, I'll never know. James. Hey, I am James. I frequent many of the games. I'm sure if you've watched us, you know who I am. James, you've got a wicked ton of background noise. It's a fan. Okay. It, yes. Sorry. Is that better? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tara. I'm Tara. I've been in just about every game. I mean, oh, okay, I take that back. There's been zombie stuff. But you know me. Just like James, I've been around since day one. And Tom. Tom, I was in Star Trek, and I'm also now in Star Wars. <laughs> All the star things. All the star things. I, I'm trying to come up with we a good way. We just need a gate. Yes. Yeah. Well, and I... And I gotta be totally honest, as much as I love Star Trek, and that's a pretty recent thing, thank <laughs> you, Tara, um, I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars, so. I understand, and it was time for a change, and this will have a much different feel. Much different feel. Okay, uh, so we are going to dive right into the story. Uh, so we see in the sort of outskirts of a star system, this ship, a uh, Sea Rock alteration of the Gazanti cruiser, uh, come warping out of, of hyperspace, uh, and head towards a asteroid belt that orbits a planet. Um, on board at the controls, who who is is flying on this particular hall? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think both James and I are in the in the cockpit shooting the shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what are you shooting the shit about? Or, or maybe let's uh, let's first describe your character's looks in basic terms, and then you know. At least in a bleak way, uh, talk about what your your characters are talking about. Uh, well, I'm I'm a bit of a you know middle aged fella, um, rough, got the got a big big mustache, high and tight haircut, very military. Um, though he might have put on some pounds since the rebellion, but still still pretty rough and tumble. Um, you know, not, he's got, he's got the, the classic jacket, pilot jacket, and, you know, just a pistol on his hip, and, uh, I don't know, he's, he's got some form of smoking something going on. Sure. Death sticks? Not death sticks. <laughs> Those are illegal. Uh. Besides... He'd have to go home and rethink his life. <laughs> First off, can I just say it's really kind of weird that your your token is barefoot, and I just noticed that. She doesn't like shoes. That's like a one-point GURPS quirk. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> She'll wear them if she needs to. She just doesn't like them. Okay. It, I would have had a more pers customized token, but I couldn't make Fuse work, so... Well, uh, uh, Pishi is a, oh, what is the name of her race again? Species. Mira, Mirlin? Mirlin, Mirlin. Uh, 
green complexion. You can zoom way on in on her. I have a very high quality model. So I made that myself. Um, or kind. You, you, <laughs> you can see everybody's hands on. <laughs> uh, it's. Well, don't do that. Uh, she's in her late 20s, maybe early 30s. Um, and actually, she's in her late 20s, but you know. That age range, that's a little hard to describe. Uh, her tattoos are very pronounced. Dark black. Um, and she is currently scowling at... Uh, what was your name again? V Van? Van? Vin? Vaughn. 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 Also, Colin, you, you know the Twitch is on starting soon still, right? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. What's well, unmuted? So Vaughn, uh, and looks and says, y "You do realize there is someone else in the bridge area, correct?" I. So, may I ask why you are smoking that wretched thing again? Uh, the better question is, why aren't you? He opens I... up, like, a little book that's got, like, a couple more of them in there. Uh, no, thank you. She'll, like, wave a fan, uh, like, grab a book off, like, an instruction manual or mag magazine equivalent off the thing and, like, fan the smoke away from herself and give you a nasty look. And James, we're picking up that fan noise again. All right. So the, the camera kind of pans through the cockpit and down the hall, um, you know, maybe up a staircase and, and through some, some doorways. And we see ever, uh, oh. Everoth describe your character and what he is doing. Uh, he is a very fussy Wookiee. Uh, he has this uh, just letter fest. He is chilling, just making sure he is uh, sitting on the you said cockpit of the gunnery part or where? Where wherever? Where, where where is your character? Well, he's sitting on the on one of the gunnery pods, like just uh, looking around. He's watching one of those. Uh, I'm not sure if there were magazines in Star Wars that just were showing some uh, ship pieces and equipment pieces, and he's just uh, uh, chilling on that part. Uh, he doesn't seem to be very fancy. He is not very uh, also battle scarred like other. He seems like just a new recruit, uh, a new soldier up for the punch. Okay. And then out of the gunnery pod and, and down a couple flights of stairs. And we see Tom. Tom, what is your character up to? Um, in his spare times, it's probably uh, uh, going through his uh, martial arts forums. He looks, he's a, his name's Jen. He's a, a monk, but in the Shaolin sense, more than the uh, more sort of Jedi looking sense. He's, you know, he's, so he's going through his martial arts forums and, Actually, you know, uh, and again, you know, very fluid and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, quite explain it. Okay, so before we go any further, uh, the first thing that we do every session is each player rolls this force die here to determine the starting force pool. So in order, go ahead and give that a roll. What's in order? Uh, it just doesn't matter. Everybody take take a turn. All right, so James is... rolled a black dot. Okay. Is that good or bad? It's not great, no. Tara rolled two white. Great. Good job. Ever run another black dot? What do you press to roll? R. Makes sense. Another Thanks, black guys. dot. A lot of, of dark side. All right, so the, well. the pool is currently... Three dark side points and two light side points. 
and those are somewhat similar to the the momentum that we uh, use so frequently in Star Trek. Uh, in that you know they they confer a sort of mechanical bonus that and flip back and forth between the the two sides. So, okay, so it's it's possible for us to gain some. Yes, but there will not be more than five points total this session. They bounce back and forth. As we ah, and I see. Okay. So yeah, when I use this, I'll flip it over to a light side point. And if you guys need to use this for some reason, you would flip it over to the dark side. Ah, okay. That's a cool mechanic. I like it. I, I like it as well. Okay, so the Cuddly Bantha is a freighter. Um, there's, you know, thousands of designs and tens of thousands of them in the outer rim. Uh, so it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't stand out in a crowd. The asteroid belt it's making its way through uh, does have some uh, magnetic properties that, that make scanning difficult, which is why it has no idea that there are two fighters in the asteroid belt until they move out. And instead of doing the thing, I'm going to, oops, I'm just going to move them sort of cinematically. All right, so these are fairly cheap but fast M3 Scyther, I think is what they're called. Psyker? Psych. Interceptors. And uh, I think they're, they're going to hail you. Uh, attention freighter. Uh, these are the fighters off of your bow. Lower your shields and prepare to give up your cargo. What is our cargo? Tabana Gas. It is volatile, uh, so it's, uh, it has to be held at low temperatures. And uh, because of the the potential volatility um, with like micrometeor strikes, it can't be held on these outside pylons. So it's packed inside of your hull. In your in your hold. And is there anything on the outside pylons? There is nothing on the outside pylons. Uh, well, that's going to be kind of hard, because if you take a closer look, we're currently sans cargo. Well, then you won't mind if we come aboard and uh, see for ourselves. On what authority do you... You're, you're being robbed right now. Like, like, there's a little hesitation in the in the pirate's voice. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. What do you call it? Like, mute the thing for a second and be like, "Do your thing and be annoying," and then I'm gonna at at. Uh, I all I just want to pronounce it Van. I don't know why I can't. My brain just can't wrap around how it's actually pronounced. Bon. Yeah, bon. you gotta put an accent over there or something. Bon. Uh, I don't know how to put an accent over there. Uh, okay, yeah, say, be annoying like you do, and then I yell down the thing just as loud as I can. Yay! Pirates! I, get on I, the guns! I... I, I look over at her when she says that and, like, point at myself and silently mouth, me? Annoying? <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll uh, get on the comms and, like, well, yeah, yeah, we, we just, you know, who's robbing us? <laughs> I, but, but just, <laughs> well, well, no, 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 we're just curious, because, you know, if, if you're part of the, the... The, the the cons like you know hey like you know maybe we could have a drink together but you know if, if you're part of the 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 blue suns like you know you might as well just kill us i i think i might kill you anyway <laughs> all right so what these pirates obviously don't realize is that 
Uh, this particular model of freighter is based on a uh, military design, and so it has retained uh, some of its armament. In particular, on the port and starboard side, are a uh, on each side are a pair of broadside lasers. Uh, they don't have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, they they can't move real well, but they uh, they do pack a pretty good wallop and they have an okay range. Also, uh, on the 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 top and bottom are two retractable quad uh, turrets. And these are probably exactly the same thing that uh, the Millennium Falcon had from, you know, the famous scene in, in the original Star Wars where, uh, you know, it's a, it's a manned turret that has almost a 360 degree uh, field of fire. So how many turrets do we have? Three? You have two turrets, one on the top and one on the bottom, and then on each side of the ship are fixed broadside laser cannons. All right, so one is, I assume, controlled on the bridge, and then the other two are sit-ins. Correct. The broadsides are controlled from the station on the bridge, and the other two are, are set in. New guy! Get in, the, get in the side pod! Unless you're already in there, because you're a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> what was your name again, okay. uh, Tom? Jin. Jin! other one i'm on the bridge okay <laughs> okay so uh this is gonna ranges are going to be a little fluid for a few reasons but um in order to sort of keep the cinematic feel um at this particular range uh right now is a range two right bubble two. around your ship yep mm -hmm. anything inside of that is considered close range for us or in general and short? Uh, short is anything inside of range three. Which we can pop. Away yeah. If you want. <laughs> All right. So that, that is a short range bubble. Uh, medium range would be beyond that, but. Uh, part of the reason why this is the case is because no ship on the field right now has a uh, uh, a weapon that is longer than short range. All right, so if you manage to get through the asteroid field, uh, your your comms will be able to work. You'll be able to head towards the planet, and you know the the government there will certainly have you know at least a patrol boat that they can send up. Do we have shields on this thing? You do have shields on it. Uh, they are heaviest on the front, so if you look over here at the uh, the sheet, uh, your four defense is three, your shields. Uh, you have two on each side, and as is usually the case with shields, they're weakest to the aft. Okay. And then I'll walk back in the bridge area and go, what do you say, get them close? Ray shields, bang, 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 or from here? Well, I, I was thinking about picking one and singling them out. I mean, yeah, just which one do we want to, how do, do we want to start I mean, this? The, the guy to our right, I'm going to go, I'm going right, and then I, I'm going to go right. Okay, so let's start with rolling initiative. So, um, this is one of two things, uh, in this system. It is either cool or vigilance, depending on whether or not you are being surprised. In this particular sense, uh, instance, since they haven't, uh, uh, you know, they announced their presence, they didn't exactly ambush you, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a, a cool check. So, okay. everybody look at your character sheet and figure out what dice you have for cool. I got a gold and a green. I got a gold and a green. Same here. Okay, so over here is a die roller. 
Uh, all right. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're going to have to do this. So you can actually oh, see. Oh, there we go. I see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the green dice are called ability dice. The proficiency dice are the yellow ones or gold ones. Uh, so somebody, somebody go first. All right. So usually you'd be rolling against a pool, but for initiative you just roll these, and then you can even just click red, and it'll say, "Oh, look, three successes, zero advantages." Okay. So who, you got three successes. Who just rolled? That James. James. That was James. All right, so zero advantages and one, two, three successes. I have put your character on the tracker, and this will just be a, like a visual representation. All right, Tara. Where, where is the tracker? It is. Thank you, look. It is this little grid thing over here. Yeah. All right, Tara got three successes and one advantage. Three successes and one advantage for Tara. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll roll. Does everybody have one yellow and one green for initiative? Yeah. Wow, okay. And Tom got zero successes and one advantage. <laughs> yep. Uh, zero success, one advantage. Okay. And Everoth, you're cool. Two greens. Two greens. All right, so you're going to remove the proficiency die. And at all right, go ahead and roll that. What happens? Oh, so right underneath this blue tray, there oh, is a here. button that says roll. Okay. What we need? There we go. Roll it. All right, two successes, one advantage for the Wookie. All right, so we got. Oh, so turn is a graph. Oh. Uh, usually it just goes by advantage, but if there's a tie, or use, uh, usually it just goes by successes, but if there's a tie, then it goes to advantages. Ah, okay. All right. I go first, then you go, and then... Okay. So now the fighters are going to roll their cool. Okay, so does an advantage also count as an ex a success? No. Okay. All right, so the red guy... Has one success, no advantages. And the yellow guy has three successes, no advantages. Alright, so the red guy gets one success, zero advantages. And the other guy was three successes and no advantages. So same as James. Same as James. Okay. So, Terra goes first. Are our shields up yet? Uh, yeah, I think... Raising shields is an incidental. And there's also these sort of standard maneuvers here. Also, since you are in the co-pilot section, there is actually, under actions, a co-pilot action here. So, uh, the first thing that happens... Well, okay, so on your turn, you can take one action and one maneuver. And there are instances in which you can take a second maneuver, but you can never take more than two maneuvers in one turn. Okay. Well, I think for this one, is talking free? Yes, as long as it's not, you know, absurd. I wanted, I just wanted, while I'm doing the co-piloting thing, mm -hmm. uh, I was just going to be like, I'm sorry, but we still, your authority has not been determined here. I mean, come on, guys. If you're going to be pirates, be pirates about this whole situation. Have some bravado. Just have to talk or just have to shoot. <laughs> All, <laughs> All right, right. so. I'll do co pilot um, maneuver. So, so the I difficulty just... on co pilot is two. All right. And that means you have two purple dice against your piloting. And that's a difficulty? That's the dip. Uh, yes, those are difficulty. All right, so add two difficulty dice, and then I add uh, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Cancel each other out. Exactly. That is phenomenal and actually a little surprising because you should have blown that out of the water. Okay. I should have. It was just a really shitty roll. Well, you know me and the rolling. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, somebody was paying a little too much uh attention to what they're saying and not enough yep. attention to what they're doing. So you're not hurting him, but you're not helping him either. Hey, could have been worse. It could have been worse. Okay. Uh, Vaughn and the yellow pilot are going at the same time. Vaughn, why don't you go ahead and go first? All right. So for, for movement, like yes. how are we playing this? Like, All right. Uh, so... On this maneuvers on the Starship Combat cheat sheet, don't worry about fly drive or uh, accelerate or punch it. Okay. All right. So um, evasive maneuvers, stay on target, are uh, you would do those in addition to something on your maneuver dial. Okay. Otherwise, uh, flying the ship is just... Uh, using the the maneuver. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do. So, I want to do... Now, uh, any red maneuvers? Yeah, I was just about to ask. Are going to deal strain to the ship. And that is sort okay. of like... Um, there's stun points and wounds, and that's the ship's stun points. <laughs> Okay, so where is stun? System strain? No, System wait. strain, yes. Okay. So it's just, like, if I do something that's, you know, a three maneuver and it's red, is that just, you know, three strain? Yeah. That's that's how we're going to do it? I, I think that's how we're going to do it. Okay. For those okay. of you that are watching that don't know what's going on right now, uh, we are merging for ship combat. Uh, the the tactical game, uh, the Star uh, X Wing from Fantasy Flight Games with the their role playing game. So uh, it's the, an experiment. it is an experiment. I, I actually I've spent a lot of time thinking about this um, with somebody who has a really good head for mechanics, and uh, I, I feel pretty pretty comfortable that this is going to work out pretty well. All right, so go ahead and move your ship. Okay. So this is going to cost three strain. Okay. Wait, it just turned. It didn't, like, move. It also moved. It did. It's just a big ship. Wow, that turned a hell of a lot more than I anticipated it would. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a... Can I, was... can I take that back? I'm sorry. I did not realize it was going to move quite like that. Yeah, so the... Undo. Uh, so the banks are 45 degrees, and the, uh, oh, I think only James can hit under. There you go. And the, the hard turns are 90 degrees. Yeah, that, that moved a hell of a lot more. What are we doing with blues, out of curiosity? Uh, I have no plans for blues yet. Okay. Maybe they All right. Have... Well, in that case, I am going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Because it, I think it keeps them both, like, in our forward shield arc. That works for me. All right, so the uh, yellow ship is going to advance. Why aren't I listening to the Star Wars soundtrack right now? That yeah, I really, really wish that we wouldn't get some sort of a... a... Claim. Yeah, I, I, I am actually listening to the Who. The, we'll we'll the, circle the back H around U. on that. Okay. The the <laughs> H U, who are the the band in Fallen Order, so that that song yeah. that is playing is is Mongolian death metal. They're not speaking some weird ang alien language. Oh yeah, no, I recognized them actually from a music video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think if you're yeah. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to have to remember that these ships move kind of slow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh looks yeah, like next a up... Yeah, huge map. Yes, it is. So, uh, I mean, we, we may have to fudge some movement, but 
Uh, Alright, so Evan is next. Uh, so You're not in range. No, no but no. there are things that he can do, such as aim or uh, interact with his environment somehow. Uh, okay, I guess in preparation would be like turning on the whole console, the little uh, screen and everything, and get everything ready. So he's going to prepare for the, the whole station. That's actually a specific action that um, some some things need. In this case, you don't actually need uh, to prepare anything. Your uh, uh, okay. aim's probably good check. Okay, if it if it's already ready, then I'll aim. All right, so you're gonna gain a boost on your next combat check, check or target a specific item at. Okay, uh, spends consecutive. So yeah, the longer you aim, the more blues you get. Okay, and it's good. It's gonna take forever for them to get there. Your first shot's gonna be wicked. Yep. Yes. Uh, I will have to remember that. Okay. Uh, red is gonna move as well. And they are basically just turning on their, their afterburners and jetting right at you. Alright. Um, Kyle, go ahead and do two James. more moves. James. Vaughn. Go ahead and do two more moves. Alright. Oh, Terra doesn't get to go again? I see how it is. I'm I'm trying to move the the ships closer. Did Tom also aim? Oh my god, did I forget yeah. about Tom? Yes, you so. did. Yeah, I did. I just yeah, yeah. I I kind of realized how absurdly long this was going to be at the distances that I had <laughs> selected. All right. So there is three strain All right. Where, where's the actions? Uh, these oh, are the no, standard. Uh, yeah, stand, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, here are the actions. Plus, you know, shooting. Yeah. Okay, so top of the initiative order is do, 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 Tara. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think he's in range yet. Can you can't hold action? Can you? You can hold your action. Um, go ahead and throw the range two band up on there. Yeah, I'm going to hold action until he's within range. Until after red, so. Until after red, okay. Uh, James. He's not going to see this coming. Okay. All right. So and... that's a total of eight strain. How do I add the strain? I'm sorry. Uh, You know what? Why don't you spawn me a token for now? Well, actually, now that he's, he's in range, could I go? Because I was actually kind of wanting to shoot him when he was in range. Uh, you uh... help until after his turn. Just spawn a token for the uh, the Sea Rock. How do I do that? Also, Terry, he's not in your uh, arc. Front arc? You're not. They're, they're broadsides. They're literally left and right. Oh, sorry. I misunderstood. <laughs> it isn't Tom and Ever on the guns? They have. So there are two types of guns. Oh! There are the... Oh, the tokens, because I deleted them. Okay, well, then we'll find some other type of token here. Combat aid. But I believe he's not in range, uh, right? For you guys, he's in range. For me, no. I, I'm on the wrong arc. Terra has powerful guns that are not on turrets like yours. I'll definitely shoot this guy on my turn. Okay, but it's not your turn. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to... 
you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Makes sense. All right, so how much strain? Eight? Eight. Okay. And will we flip those over when we do a green, a blue? No. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, yellow goes after James. Uh, so it looks like yellow's going to have to bank a little bit to come up, hopefully, towards your... Oh, wow. Uh, we'll do this. So we should totally pre-program our moves in still. And I'm going to put an arc on there. Shoop. Wah-wah. Wah-wah, indeed. Okay. Uh, these are armed with very close-range weapons. All right. Next up is... The Wookiee. The Wookiee, Evan. I have... Uh, change it, but right now I have two gunnery green die, uh, plus one blue from the aiming. Okay. So, you're going to add that to the pool, and, um, let's see, you are, the difficulty is going to be three. And the reason the difficulty is three is because um, your ship is two range band or two size bands bigger than the fighters, which means that they're they're harder for you to hit. I added your difficulty tokens, uh, and you you have an ability of two and a boost of how many? One. One. All right, so I give it a roll. All right, so that's three failures and four advantages. That was so, a weird roll. You, that's gonna happen with this system. Wait. What? So your roll failed, but you got four advantages. Is that right? Uh, three advantages. Uh, four advantages. Yeah. Four advantages. Okay. So if you look at this part of the sheet, it talks about what you can spend advantages on. So you can perform an immediate maneuver for two. Um, you can add a uh, challenge or a setback die to their next piloting or gunnery check. Or you can add a blue die to any allied character's next piloting, gunnery, computers, mechanics check. Hmm. For three, you can ignore... Move to ground hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, penalizing terrain or stellar effects, which you don't have to really worry about right now. Um, you can... Uh, let's see, add blue to the next active. So you could use one of those to add a blue die to Tom. Mm -hmm. You could add, use two of them to add a blue die to anybody. Could you uh, use all four to add two to Tom? He could use... Uh, see, it's four of them. Add die to... He does, but you can only do that each thing once. Okay. If that's the case, then um, I'll give one blue die to Tom. Okay. That's one advantage. So, Tom, remember uh, that you have a boost on your attack. He has two boosts. Yes. Um, I will also give one more blue die to uh, Host Paladin. James. James. Uh, no, the name of the character. Sorry. Bam? Vaughn. 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 I'll give uh, one blue die to Vaughn after that as I try to shoot them and they kind of. Uh, he scatters. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have one more left over. So. But I cannot use this one again, right? Well, you can't use add a boost to next al active allies thing, but uh, you could notice a single important point in the ongoing conflict, such as a oh. fatal flaw in the enemy ship's course, a weak point on the attack speeder. In this case, um, 
you notice that there is another ship hiding up ahead that you that does not show up on the sensors because of the stuff in the place, the, the magnetic stuff. It was hiding behind an asteroid field. Yes. Sneaky bugger. Uh, I'll just scroll into the audio. Uh, no, wait, I don't discover that, right? It just happened. No, you notice that. Okay, uh, I'll notice that. Press on the computer to bring up the information to the cockpit as I grow. What do you say? Who speaks Wookie? I speak. So I took two languages. I I, I went with Wookie and binary. Okay. I like it. Okie doke. Uh, so, just about anybody is aware of the fact that there is a larger ship hiding up ahead. Did, they've got to have a Wookiee Scream audio box. Oh, there's all kinds of audio boxes on the main table. This is just the opening scene. Okay, Red Pilot is now going to go with his super short-range weapon. Do you even have an angle on this? Oh, wait, there he goes. Now I think he's in my arc. D does Tara get her shot since she was waiting for that? I said after red. Oh. Uh, Did yellow not go? Yellow went. Remember, we did a wah wah because out yes. of range. Okay, so. You are easier to hit for a small ship. Uh, so their difficulty to attack you is only one. Normally it would be two. Can he shoot and he, he, he can fly and attack? Okay. Cool. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. Flying is a maneuver. Flying is a maneuver. Shooting is an attack. Cur is an action, yes. Okay. All right. So, um, what? A maneuver. Yeah, maneuver. All right, let's see here. Uh, fire arc forward, damage five, critical three, range close. All right, so whoop, we'll clear this out. All right, so his ability is only three. No boosts. The difficulty is only one in this case, however. Whoops. Mother. Okay, so five successes, one threat. Damn. Oh, shoot. I take that back, because you have shields. We do have shields. So, um, he is firing on your side. Which is two, I think. Which is two. So, you ready? This is how easy shields are. Hey, okay. Zero successes, two advantages. Okay, so his ship hits, technically, but um, does not deal any damage. So it does that thing where the ship kind of just shakes. And it's like... Correct. But. Um, but he does have two advantages that he can spend. Um, so he's going to add a setback to, uh, the next piloting check on the ship. And Jin, it is your turn. It's Tara's turn. She, we held action for this. Correct, day. she did. All right, so to take your action... Uh, the difficulty to hit that guy is three. And I didn't get any, uh, boost from anyone, right? Correct. Okay. All right, zero success, one advantage. Wow, yeah, you really do roll like shit. 
It's it's just the way it, it works. All right, so now you can do the same sort of options. So you, you see kind of how there's mechanical use for advantages, but they can also be uh, used a little bit more narratively, like to discover the ship that's up ahead. Uh, can I do... I can't do weak point, can I? Um... Or weak point on an attack speeder? You yeah, know in this particular case, I think a weak point would be the same sort of thing where where you would be adding a boost to somebody. I will boost, um... Uh, the next act... Um... Uh, I don't think he has a range... Is that only front and back, um, Toms and Evs? No, it's a turret. It has 360-degree field. Okay, well then I will hand a boost to Tom, <laughs> making it a boost to three. Okay. All right. Tom's turn. you on the turn. top one, Tom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my uh, gunner and is... I didn't get a bonus because of how close he was, right? No. Okay. All right, your gunner is what? Uh, one, one yellow, two, two green. So two green, one yellow. Difficulty three, uh, to hit it is three, and then you also have boosts. three boosts. One, mm -hmm. two, three. One from aiming, and one mm -hmm. from the previous people. All right, go ahead and give those a roll. Two successes, two advantages. Okay, nice. so two successes mean you hit. And deal the ship's damage. Uh, now, your quad laser is on this sheet. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, right. Uh, dorsal mounted retractable quad laser cannon. That's a mouthful. Damage is five. To activate a critical, you need three advantages. Which I think you Oh my one. god, it's also accurate one, so you should have rolled one more boost. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, you we can always do... just roll one more boost. Yeah, just yeah throw one roll more boost in boost. there. Um, you could always inflict a critical injury with a successful attack that deals past armor uh, with one of there. your advantages. Oh, it rolled all of them. That's he okay. didn't get it. Yeah, so it was still two successes and two advantages. Yep. So cannot deal a critical because uh, you see how there's three advantage symbols here under critical. Yeah. That means that you need three to activate it. However, do you see this linked three here? Mm-hmm. That means that um, since you're firing four blaster beams, kind of, you know, choo 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 choo, mm -hmm. um, you only need two advantages to hit with two of those blaster bolts, uh, to hit with a second one. And you can, that. you can link those up to, up to three times. Yeah. Okay. So, base damage is five. You got two mm -hmm. two successes, mm -hmm. so that's six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, because he linked. Oh, wait, nine, no. Eight, no, 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 I'm sorry. Five, two successes, yeah, five is six, seven, and then you linked it twice, so it's 14. Nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you hit. Say, yeah. You, so you hit the ship with 14 damage. Mm -hmm. The ship's... Armor. Oh, it does have defensive shields in the front. Oh well. Uh, hull trauma is six. Is there no soak? Do we just blast this thing to hell? You guys kept stacking up bonuses on me. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Armor. Do it. I think armor Do is it. is soak in this particular case. In fact, I know it is. Armor is soak. So it removes two soak from each of those. 14. Okay, so 10. So 10 damage. Its hull trauma is 6. So, yeah, it's dead. Ow! <laughs> Fuck it, you back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, top of the initiative, Tara, that's you. Because, I mean, really, if you're going to do all this piracy, you better know what you're getting into. Uh, I'm measuring distance real quick. 
I don't think I got range on them right now. No. What? Uh, so I will. You have range on the red one. I thought we just destroyed it. Destroyed. Blast the shit out of that thing. Oh right, it's the yellow one. Okay, sorry. Yes, you're right. You do not have range on them right now. Uh, I'm gonna try the boost thing again for uh, James there, because he's already got one. But let's just give him another. I'll do co-pilot. I'm. That I'm actually. Not sure how that helps us. So if if you have to do something that requires a check, so that's gain the advantage or um. What else uses piloting here? You know what? I'll hold off until he goes into range again. You want to aim? Or are you just going to hold your action? Hold action until he's in range. Okay. Uh, so, like, if you're in some... Uh, in, a, in a place where your piloting requires a check, then... Um, that that's where co-pilot would help like if you're you know dodging some crazy i mean you're not close enough to the asteroids yet but again okay. I, I forgot the ranges were so small hey, colin can but, i make a suggestion what we should have the pilots have to program in their movement at the be top of the round ah, i don't actually like that Okay. Because then it kind of negates the advantage of rolling initiative. I gotcha. All right, Tara just went. She's holding until after somebody comes within range. Yellow. Correct. Uh, yellow and me. And... Oh no, never mind. I was asking if you were waiting for yellow, but uh, uh, yeah. go ahead and go, James. Okay. Uh, so that's your maneuver. Are you going to take any actions? Are you talking there, James? Yeah. I'm not sh sure what actions I can take. I mean, any of the standard maneuvers or the piloting maneuvers here, or the, the ship maneuvers. Uh, can I take evasive maneuvers? Yeah. So... so piloting? Oh, I'm sorry. You cannot, because the silhouette on that ship is one uh, is five. Oh, okay. No, yeah, we're massive. You are massive. Fair enough. But uh, gain the advantage might be helpful. Outmaneuver an enemy vehicle on a successful oh, yeah. check until the pilot end of the pilot's next turn. The target does not gain the benefits. Uh, the yeah, and the, oh, 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 evasive maneuvers. So they don't actually have evasive maneuvers. Um, I thought that there was one more plot course co-pilot. I thought there was an Shields out maneuver, back. but I guess not. Well, I guess gain the advantage. Yeah, I mean, you can uh, negate the benefits of evasive maneuvers. Like if they take evasive maneuvers? If they take... You may also want to look at the assist, where you just add a boost to the next... Uh, yeah, like you could give me a bonus. Oh, yeah, actually, could I just do it in a way that I... Yeah, you know, you're... Help put the gunners somewhere? Exactly. Okay, beautiful. I who still... You um, let's see, who is the next person to shoot? Uh, if... Me, if yellow moves within range. All right, I think I'm going to give it to Ever or Tom because they've got more more boomy guns. Actually, I got more boomy guns. I just roll like shit. But yeah, go ahead and give it to them. <laughs> oh. Give it to them. I have a lot of dice, but I just roll garbage whenever there's rolling involved. 
You sure? Yeah. I'm okay. Close. Yeah, then in that case, I am going to roll... What is it? Uh, two gold. Uh, for those, I don't think you have to roll anything. No, you, you know, magically there. Are you talking about the maneuvers? The oh, the standard, the standard maneuver. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's that's a maneuver. Well, you can actually change your. I totally forgot about this. You can change your action into a maneuver if you prefer. Okay. I mean, I just it doesn't seem that there's a lot of actions I can take yeah right now so yeah okay. and there are fewer options for big ships which i didn't realize when i set this thing up <laughs> okay uh yes yeah, still i'll uh just for free you can give a boost to anyone you want or yeah okay so how do i give you just say who uh, you're giving the boost to okay i am giving who's who's next next is uh, tara rookie okay or no, I'll, I'll give it to Tara. Fuck it. Okay. She's got more boomy guns. Okay. Help make her odds better. So it is Yellow's turn, and I think he is sufficiently pissed off. Zoom. Ah! Uh, oh, he's in. He's in. He is in. Uh, fire front. And you are just in his arc too. Yep. Okay, so, uh, Tara, go ahead and take your action. Okay. Because you did say you were going to wait until he got into range. Yes. Alright, so this is... Uh, one, difficulty two, is three. Five. One, two, three, one. Uh, oh, you don't have a yellow, yeah, well, that's piloting, Okay. Three successes, one advantage. Three successes, one advantage. Okay, so that is not enough to activate a critical. Uh, but three successes does mean that you hit with one of the beams. So that's six plus the three advantages. So you're going to do nine damage. And I can link it. Except you need two advantages for that. Oh, okay. Well, then I will use that advantage for something else. All right. Well, here is I'll give the... another... I'll give... I'll pass the bonus on to Ev. Okay. Um... But okay, so how much damage? Uh, uh, six. Six plus the three successes makes nine. Uh, eight, seven. He is actually obliterated as well. <laughs> Bam! Usually these things would come in in squadrons, but I, I wanted to go over the rules before actually mm -hmm. throwing a terrible challenge. No. And I mean, this is this is opening scene where yes. we're demonstrating that we can handle ourselves <laughs> all right so uh james go ahead and take two uh we'll do three three movements well those guys just aim three times at the thing over there no we're we're simulating things going fast I mean, really, you guys go up here, yell at us to do things, and then just get obliterated. It's kind of sad, really. Oh my god, really? Okay, uh, three more. Big map there. Hold um, on, I, I haven't finished all three yet. So. Okay. That was three. All right. So that was three. Are they were sending against smugglers. 
Ah, uh, they're pirates, I just... <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. When, 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 we, we, when we moved, it said uh, Syndicate Smuggler. Oh, yes. <laughs> with the scripting, I didn't want to fool around too much with Yeah. Na renaming. Oh, you just need to change the name on our ship, and that'll change what happens. So it's not even actually scripting. We could easily, right now, just change the it, the name on the bottom to our name. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Oh, but actually, wait, not 100%. I take that. <laughs> don't, don't fuck with it for now. We don't need to. It's if we would have synced it up beforehand, we would have been fine. Okay. So, Colin, can I just take a moment to appreciate you and this fucking asteroid field that looks awesome? <laughs> Thank you. I I, I I wish I could say I worked really hard on it, but wait until you see the other map for tonight. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, the. White guy needs to roll his initiative, uh, which is two. But I'm gonna upgrade that by one um, for a force point. So we're gonna do one of those. So we flip one of these over. One of those. Roll that. I think we flip one. Of, yeah, one of his yeah. goes to us. Yeah. Yes. So now and, we have three. Gotcha. And for all of the good that it did, white goes very last. <laughs> Ironically, the guys that didn't get upgraded did better in their initiative rolls. All right, top of the initiative order. Right now we have three. They have two. Tara. Yes, and stop undoing it because we've got three force points. There we go. Th that's, that's the Imperial symbol. That's bad. Oh, my God. How did I mix those up? Yeah. <laughs> Don't question my Star Wars knowledge. Uh, I mean, usually you don't have to question mine either. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I love Star Wars, he says. All right, James, I'm, or uh, Tara. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, aim. All right. Tara is aiming. Uh, next is James. James. All right, so there is your maneuver, and then you also have an action. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the exact same thing. I am going to give... You are Actually... allowed to do one more man uh, move if you want. Oh, can I? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can... can do two maneuvers instead. Oh! Maneuver, one of the maneuvers is move, so you can just totally gun it. All right, so there's me. Okie doke. Uh, Wookie. I, I'm going to aim for this turn. I don't think it's in range, right? It is. It is, it is. just barely, but uh, with that asteroid in the way, um, I'm going to say you're at, you're at a disadvantage, meaning that the difficulty of the attack is upgraded once. I'm going to aim. Okay. Uh, Tom. I'm also going to aim. <laughs> lot, whole lot of aiming going on. Okay. And then, uh, white. You know, for all that aiming, this is kind of aimless. <laughs> uh, wah, wah, wah. Right into the meat, the asteroid. Oh, man. Yep. Right into the asteroid. So, um, <laughs> that's what that's what we're gonna call a piloting check. Uh, so his pilot space is three. Uh, 
And then, without consulting anything, I feel like the difficulty is... two. It just should have to do with size. Silhouette. Yeah, probably. So, two failures and one advantage. So the advantage is, somehow, the jostling puts them in a good position to attack you guys. The two failures mean that he's going to take five damage. Ouch. Uh, his whole trauma is 20, and his armor is two. So five, so he takes three damage. Okay. Meow. Uh, top of the initiative, Terra. Blammo. What is his uh, difficulty? Uh, so it would normally be a two, but we're upgrading that by one. So when you upgrade the die pool, um, you change the 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 purple or green die closest to the left. Okay. Into gold or red. And then once they're all gold or red, then you add a die to the pool. So in this particular instance... Oh, sorry. Uh, so in this particular instance, the difficulty to hit him is one red and one purple. And what's red? Challenge. Challenge. Yep. One success, three advantages. I think that's enough to crit. That is enough to crit. So you ready? This is what we do for a crit. Uh, I did not bring the dice. <coughs> Objects. Components. Dice. Plastic. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm going to just change the color on this one. This is the tens place, and the green one is the ones place. Okay. So we roll. Seventy-two. Thirty. What? Thirty-two. Oh, Thirty-two. You know what I don't have is the crit table. <laughs> I'm, I'm well yeah I just need I'm, I'm thinking or realizing there there are things that I need to add to my little to go box there uh that's why we're doing this first initial thingy yes mm -hmm. well I mean I feel like we're gonna wind up working the kinks out to what make is... this better over the course of time yes absolutely what does target lock do there's no saddling actions for the for the ship. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. So we got Watcher Back and Target Lock. Oh, I saw Where those is... and could not find the corresponding thing. Where is Target Lock? It's on our ship. Oh, the ship can Target Lock. Well, it's the actions we can apparently take, but we don't know what they do. Harry, I'm searching the internet for it, totally forgetting that on my second monitor I have the PDF open. So we just need the critical hit table, though. Oh, I think yeah. target lock was for missiles, remember? That makes sense. Okay, is anybody else a little disconcerted that uh, there happens to be a Death Star behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 37 was it? 37. 37. Tailspin. All right. Sorry, 32. 32. 32. Knocked off course. Severity is easy. All right. So popping back into here. So I did seven damage also. Did it not take any damage from the asteroid? It did. It did take damage from the asteroid. It is knocked off course. A particularly strong blast or impact sends the ship or vehicle careening off in a new direction. On their next turn, the pilot cannot execute any maneuvers and must make a piloting check to regain control. 
The difficulty of this check depends on their current speed. Oh, please say he's good. That is also is going to make him uh, spend another turn inside that asteroid. The difficulty is, is three because his speed is three. Oh, maybe that's what the pilot should be rolling for piloting. What? No, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. All right. Uh, you said you did another how much damage? Seven Although, damage. Actually, Seven to I was five. thinking about it. What if uh, a piloting roll can be utilized to uh, his armor reduce or negate stress? Um, I th like that's actually maneuver. that's a uh, uh, that's the uh, repairs. He should be at one HP because otherwise I just blew him up. Well, no, but I mean, like, you, you use a piloting roll to not take as much stress from the red. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make you roll for any red maneuvers. Uh, okay. The difficulty being the speed of that red maneuver. So difficulty okay. three for a three, difficulty five for a five. Okay. But now he shoots us. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. That's hurtful. Well, yeah, but it makes sense. Okay. Uh, it's his turn to shoot now, because I did that pop to when he moved towards us. Wait, were you... Did you not aim? I... I thought you had, yeah. Oh, that's right. I, I'm silly. That was the top of the round. <laughs> it's now James's. Yeah. It is now James's turn. Okay. Oh my god, you were just skirting that asteroid. That's the plan. Um, actually, I'm seeing a little bit of overlap there. Tiny bit. What, uh, what's your speed? Two? Two. Go ahead and roll a two-difficulty pilot maneuver. Uh, okay, so... I add... One of these, and one of these. And one more of these. And what's the difficulty dice? Two. Two difficulty. And that's it. Okay, and the D6s are challenge dice. It's either a setback or a boost, depending if it's good or bad. Challenge, well, okay. challenge uh, is the... I'm asking because I've got an ability that removes a setback dice. Correct, but you don't have one in this um, instance. The, chal okay. the challenge dice are... Um, D12s? Yes. They're the bad equivalent of the yellow. Two successes. Two successes, zero advantages. Okay, so you do uh, succeed and do not take any damage from running into an asteroid, which is good, because you're carrying deadly, deadly Tabana gas. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We, 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 we tend to forget about... Uh... Uh, dangerous explosives when we're shooting things. And <laughs> EG Star Trek. <laughs> my second one, or my action. You can boost somebody again. Yeah, I'm gonna give Ever a boost. So that's two boosts, three boosts now, Ev. All right, and it's your turn. Okay. Shoot him! Shoot them! That's two. Shoot them. Uh, shoot the reapers. Somebody shoot. And the challenge is three. The ch uh, the difficulty is only two, but one of them is red. Oh. There you go. There's your pool. <laughs> Zero successes, two advantages. Okay. So you do not hit. I'm passing my uh, boost 
uh, blue boost to Tom. Okay. Uh, you have one more advantage that you can do. I thought that took two of them. Uh, it's only one if you pick the next person in initiative order. It's two if you pick somebody else. Can I give one boost to Tom and uh, add one black die to the pilot? No, because that costs two and you only have two. Okay. Um, can I notice anything important? I can weapon quietly. Quality. Quality. Oh, okay. And he has to hit for that to work. Uh, there's really not anything to, to notice here. No, you know what? You know what? Hold on. For 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 one advantage, um, there is some icing on the asteroid that, if hit, would create an effective um, screen. Like, you know, it would put particles in there that would make it difficult for the other ship to target. Uh can I like mark the targets and then scream on the uh, on the comms? <laughs> That's fair. Uh, All yeah, right. That should be marked. Uh, Tomas. Okay. I think it's, you have two boost. Yeah. Two boosts and the Wookie. Do you speak Wookie? Sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Uh, then, yeah, the, the Wookiee is telling you that there's ice on the asteroid that can screw up his targeting. Or you could just shoot him because he's yeah. very damaged. Like, shooting all you the shoot things? Him. Yeah, yeah I, I would just kill him. Yeah. Alright, difficulty to hit is... Uh, I'm sorry, it's one, because he's still in the asteroid, so it's one challenge and one difficulty. One, wait, oh wait, you're sorry, one. Sorry. Okay. There you go. Five oh, successes, two he advantages. Yes, he is, he is gone. <laughs> All right. Or I could just shoot him. <laughs> yeah, between, like, the bottom scraping up against the asteroid and mm -hmm. the top uh, getting blasted by quad blaster fire, the, uh... Yeah, he's, he's dead, Jim. It's just kind of sad. Oh, wait, they're all dead. It is just kind <laughs> of sad. <laughs> so you don't have to taunt them anymore. Wonder if they had anything. Um, looting the bodies is kind of hard in space, and actually, I don't think you have a tractor beam, do you? You do not have a tractor beam. I'll just shrug and then say, "I wonder if they do." We should probably move <laughs> on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was enough to get the heart racing for a second. Oh no, we're gonna hit the asteroid too. Or not. Like, we scraped it. Didn't even hit it. My superior piloting. <laughs> awesome. I thought we were gonna go spinning. Yeah, I think we fly through. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You don't have to... Oh, good. Continue. Uh, Alright, so you make it through to the planet, which we should establish as... Where is the super high quality version of this that I had? I don't know. Did you save it? Somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Look underneath the gun gun. Wait, when since when is there a gun gun on board? I don't know. Aren't there, like, pests everywhere? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> guys. You sound like Imperials. <laughs> okay. There we go. Zoop. 
And coming up north. All right. And zooming in a little more. All right. So you guys are. Did you move us? At a planet called Thalassia. Thalassia. Th Thalassia. 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 <laughs> no, with the th. Uh, all right. So what's this? It three and two. Okay. Uh, so yes, you do land at the the coordinates provided by your. Uh, by your by your buyer or a charter -er. and um this is a pretty backwater planet right like there are cities and maybe one or two spaceports but nothing nothing big and certainly um not anything with the kind of amenities that you would find uh farther core world um the landing pad that you're on is really just a patch of hard earth where the, the grass has been blasted off by uh, various engines. Okay. Um, so you land uh, where designated, and, you know, after a, a, a quick exchange with the, the buyer, his crew start unloading the Tabana from your freighter. All right, so as you guys are kind of hanging out and watching these strangers walk on and off of your ship, uh, a droid flies up. Um, this is slightly larger than the remote, the sort of, like, uh, squash ball-sized, um, you know, one that you deflect blaster balls uh, bolts from in your lightsaber training. Uh, this is yeah. closer to, like, basketball-sized, and has a small um, dish underneath. So it floats up to the group, and it says, I have a delivery for the master of the, or for the captain of the cuddly Bantha. Does both Vaughn and I reach for it? <laughs> I, I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who gets there first? Uh, probably me. I am way faster than he is. Uh, Shoot. coordination? Oh, uh, it's... It wouldn't be... Coordination? Okay. Coordination. Three versus five. Yes, five. okay. So he reaches yeah. for it, and you snatch it away from the, the droid who... Thank you, and just sort of floats away. Um, it is a uh, hockey puck size thing that you know is is used to transfer holographic messages without you know broadcasting them. So, the puck. The puck, yes. I will. Uh, they're they're off. Uh, unloading, right? The the other people are unloading your ship. Yes. They're not in your shot. Nah. I will just pop it on. All right. A uh, uh, late middle-aged man, salt and... Well, I guess you can't really see color in the hockey puck. Uh, well, no, salt and pepper, because, you know, you can see yeah. tones. Um, none of you recognize him, but there's something in his demeanor that just kind of screams rebel to you, um, seeing as how you were all rebels. Is that right? Kind of. Not really. I was. Okay, so you were mostly rebels. I was rescued by rebels. So you spent time around that spot. Okay, uh, so he, he pops on, and he's like, I don't think we've ever met, but you come highly recommended, and I'm in a tight spot. I will give you 500 credits if you and your crew meet me at, and he names a cantina in town, um, and there's a possibility, or uh, to discuss the possibility of uh, you taking on some more work for me. Wait, so 500 just to meet him? 500 credits just to meet him. Well, hell, I'll, I'll take that. Easy money. 
I bet we could get a drink or two out of him too. If you are into that kind of thing. All right. Uh, we're gonna take a short break while we set up the next scene. Uh, I'm gonna tab over to this. Uh, you are watching Star Wars Distant Suns on the Kobold Cafe, and we will be back in two minutes. And we are back. All right, this is going to be sort of our home base table, minus the models that everybody else can see there, and I'm going to kind of hide behind the GM screen for now. Okay, so... You make your way to the uh, cantina. Um, picture whatever Star Wars music you would like to in the background. The Star, Wars, Star Wars cantina. Uh, yes. So um, the the grizzled guy is one of the few patrons there. This is either a really seedy place or not the busy time of the day. He, he waves you over and uh, kind of slides around in one of those super awkward like circular booths where only two people have the ability to get in and out oh those ones suck yeah so he like yeah, scoots right? to the back and so two of you are on one side and two of you are on the other and uh, he sort of I wait for everyone else to sit down and i take the end seat <laughs> he sort of waves to the the uh the droid that delivers drinks and it comes over and kind of thunks down some sort of a, a local liquor that's thicker than you're used to drinking and somewhat unpleasant, but it will get the job done. I pour a drink and don't even notice. Okay. He's like, uh, I appreciate you meeting me on such short notice. Um, hey, hey. 500 credits for just showing up. He'll kind of look at you and reach into his pocket and plunk the, uh, the five 100 credit coins on the... Oh, look, what kind are they? They are, uh, uh, New Republic. New Republic, spendable. I'll pocket it. He's like, listen, we, we know a lot of the same people. And, uh, you know, tread a lot of the same battlegrounds uh, during the rebellion. So uh, it was kind of fortuitous when I found out that, that you guys were on the planet. Uh, I am in a tight spot, and I'm hoping that I can entice you to do a little work for me and my patron. I have a question. How do you know who we are? And how did you know we were here? Uh, well, I, I work indirectly for the New Republic government, so it wasn't too hard for me to get a listing of all the, uh, the ships inbound or on planet. And from there, it was just a few discreet inquiries with uh, some, some former friends and co-workers before I was um, able to to ascertain exactly who I should be in contact with. And we were, like, on a totally up-and-up legal, like, we, we were doing, like, an actual job, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You were not smuggling. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think we smuggled in, the, like, at all. I think we've been the most boring crew ever. Yeah, I was just confirming that. I, that was what I had thought as well, but... That's good, because that's what I based this off of. Okay. <laughs> Which is why I had asked the other day. Okay. Depends. Legal? I'm sorry? Depends. Is it legal? Um... It's not technically illegal. <laughs> technically correct, but you're kind of correct. <laughs> Kind of frown at him a little bit. It's no worse than anything that anybody sitting at this table did during the rebellion. That's saying a lot, my friend. He he looks at you sideways. Is like I'm actually gonna have to take your word for that. Uh, 
listen. I I I'm 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 in a tight spot. I have sent um I sent another crew to do this, ones that, you know, were not hired on the spot but, you know, had been working for me for a while and they were not able to get the job done. Um I I, I am far, far away from most of my resources, but uh, I can make it worth your while. Was that by, like, a galaxy? Uh, by about half of a galaxy. Oh. Sorry, I totally missed that. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're fine. It was a little esoteric. Listen, I have a spy who has infiltrated a company that I believe is illegally funneling weapons to the Imperial Remnant here on on the Outer Rim. It would be an opportunity for you guys to, um, you know, push back against what's left of the people that oppressed us for ages. And it, um, you know, it'll put some credits in your account. And finally, my sources say that there is a, a, a good amount of equipment present that would, um, you know, that you could either keep or sell for quite a bit of money. Well, I gotta be honest. Y you had me at Remnant. I'm in. Mm -hmm. Does he speak for everybody? I'll shrug. Yeah. yeah. He looks at the Wookiee. Uh, Does he? I wasn't sure your phone was there. Sorry. Uh, I Does thought, he speak basic? Uh, yeah. He'll just not. Like okay. Um, uh, my Scott spy has requested uh, a pickup on very short notice. Uh, he's used an emergency code, which means that uh, there's a possibility that he's been compromised. If not, he will be in the near future. Um, he, he gives some, uh, some coordinates. It's a, it's a moon on one of the outer planets in the next system over. This is sort of a satellite company that's owned by, uh, the arms company, the, uh, the Crimson Point, which, I mean, you guys, anybody who's been in the warfare business knows, like, I mean, these guys mass, mass produce, not cheap, but not amazing uh, weapons. Uh, they're sort of the, uh, I don't know, like the, the Home Depot of arms, I guess. <laughs> but they're one of several companies from the corporate sector that, that make money off of selling arms. So he's like, this is a satellite operation. They take, uh, war material from the disarmament and, you know, recycle them break them down to their components and, um, you know, recycle those components or sell them to other manufacturers. Um, most of the ships in the core are made with pieces of old Republic Navy vessels that have been decommissioned because of the disarmament. So... I want you guys to go in to rescue my spy, and um, you pretty much have free reign as to whatever material you may want to steal from this company. Um, I, I, I want to stress that uh, because they are corporate sector, they, uh, they have their own security, but they're not technically under... The Republic jurisdiction. So, I mean, you're, you're going to be on your own. Uh, however, I can pay you 5,000 credits if, uh, if you recover my spy. That is a decent amount, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Ah. Ten, ten times what we started with. <laughs> what I started with. Right? <laughs> um. I don't know. I feel like I, I lean in and I say, uh, ten. <laughs> uh, alright. So let's go ahead and we will make that a persuade check. Not persuade. What is it called in this one? Charm. It's called charm. Charm. Two greens. And this is going to be opposed, so it's your two greens uh, opposed by... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Opposed by his two yellows and a green. So in that case, it would be two purples and a red. We can't clear the thingy. Oh, you can do it a red over here, James. But orange for some This should reason. work, too. Alright, so I am adding... Two green. And he's got two reds and a purple. So... There you go. Be good to me. No. Yeah, you succeed. One success. But oh. three threats. Uh-oh. Yeah, so you succeed. Uh, you succeed by one. So I feel like that's splitting the difference, right? So he'll give you 7,500. And spending threat and despair. Strain, no. Free maneuver, no. Yeah, I feel like we're in narrative, so... Um... You know what? He's going to remember this. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so his eyes narrow a little bit, but he's he, but he says he nods and says 7500 final offer. I think that'll work. You better. And then lean back like I know I achieved something. He's like, "Okay. Yeah, uh, you have the coordinates of the breaker yard uh, and the emergency signal says that the uh, the pickup has to be 1,200 hours today. I'll look at the clock on the wall. Uh, yeah, you can you can get there in time, but you won't have a lot of time to scope it out. Are you finished drinking before driving there? I, I, I raise an eyebrow. That's on. I'll finish my cup and do the upside down on the table. <laughs> All right. Uh, we can hand wave the fast travel to this other planet. Um, how do you approach this yard? Knowing that I this mean, is a, you know, military when, recycling operation, basically. When we get there... Uh, to the system when you get to the planet or when you get to that specific location? I mean, when, when we get close to that location, how much time is left? Like 25 minutes. Uh, okay. I don't know. What do you guys say? Land and walk in? Or do we want to come in hot with the guns a-blazing? I, 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 I say I would rather not come in guns blazing and I kind of gesture to my sword on my hip. <laughs> well, I mean, with, with the ship, we've, we've got a big old ship and gun. Yeah, we're trying to... Uh rescue a guy, right? <laughs> I don't want to actually blow him up. Yeah, so none of you asked, but he would have given you a tracker to help point you to the spy. Okay. You're not stealing anything from the Mandalorian. All right, so. So. 
I don't know. Yeah, I guess we land like a 15 minute walk away. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Zone. All right, so I am going to say that as you are a walking up, and let's you even get a description of the guy. <laughs> you did not get a description of the guy. He's got a tracker. Which we didn't get. Uh, no. You, I said you would have gotten. You, you okay. got it. He starts to hit the call <laughs> out, and then I will be gotcha. like... Trying to put you guys on approximately the right scale. I call the tie interceptor. <laughs> All right, so you guys come up. Made top too small. From like this garbage pile. This is everything that couldn't be recycled or melted down into something else. There is a thick, gloop, gloopy, foul-smelling sludge in the middle. Ew. Um, the most prominent thing you notice is a large air defense turret that probably would have brought you down pretty quick, so it's a good thing you didn't just fly in guns a-blazing. Yeah. Smaller. How tall are you, James? Uh, I don't know. Check my sheet. That's fine. Sorry, I've stepped away for a moment. Because I'm two meters. I mean, I'm probably about that myself. Okay, so. Alright, everybody make yourself about the same size that as that. He's gotta be so much bigger. Seven. Seven feet? Yeah, I thought that would be their size. I All mean, right. I think so, we're like no, eight. I, I'm, I just, eight? I just yeah. scaled ever to the proper scale. Please don't move him up. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wait, I am smaller than them? No, yeah. I was trying, telling everybody else to make them the same size, or, uh, you know, to use you as... We're being thing. dicks to Colin. Okay. There. I didn't touch a thing. Base your character size off of the size of the Wookiee. How do I make it bigger and smaller? Uh, Right-click uh, on right it. Right-click and scale down. And you have to click kind of underneath his feet. Okay. And make sure you get him and not the table, or else things will be bad. <laughs> okay, so we have sort of like this um, graveyard here. Think of like the airplane graveyards in uh, Nevada and Arizona. Um ships that are being slowly stripped for parts. Uh, we have a landing pad here with some sort of a building attached to it. Two large power generators that you would assume are tied in, in some way to the uh, large anti-aircraft cannon. And then there's a factory at the opposite corner. And then these landing pads are full of ships that are in better condition. Uh, you would assume that these are being uh, prepared for um, adding to the the graveyard. So, like, the ones over here are just, like, dead, dead. Pr pretty much, yeah. Like, you might be able to take all of them and cobble parts together for one complete ship. Okay. But these guys here are in, either in the process of being... Um, stripped. Probably pliable. Yes. I, when we are literally over, like, peeking over, I literally do say, dibs on the TIE Interceptor. <laughs> I want one of those X-Wings. 
All right, so the other thing that you notice are several groups of ancient B1 battle droids patrolling. Um, they are, they sort of move around through the graveyard. There's another two-man patrol that are kind of moving up and down the uh, assembly line here. And then there's two on watch over here. Is the operation of those still illegal, or with the fall of the Empire, do they not care anymore? Um, I think the corporate sector can pretty much do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, they're, I mean, it's frowned upon. I, I feel like the corporate sector is really good at not being caught doing this. Yeah. Yes. Plus, it's a lot cheaper, so from, like, a corporate point of view, oh, yeah, sure, let's just have these droids tromp around. It's a sandy-looking thing, uh, bottom, but it's really more of, like, a hard pan. You're not... I mean, you could still be called a desert, but it's not Sahara. It's more Moab. Nevada. Nevada, yeah. All right, so as you sweep the tracker around, it's obvious that somewhere in this building is the spy. I'm sorry, which building? The the factory. Okay. The one we're close to? No. No. Okay. One sorry. on the other side of the map. So what do you say? You guys make a ruckus? I sneak in there, get him out? Uh, Evan will nod, point at the generator, and then at the battle droids at the top of the building and say, <laughs> We, we all speak Wookiee. Oh, yeah, but I, I like that idea a little bit. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right, so... I mean, could you guys figure it out from context, or doesn't he just spell out what exactly what he's saying? It sounds like you want to blow that shit up. He nods. This turret cannot turn around, right? Uh, yeah, it can. 360 degrees. But, yeah, it it's, can. An, but it's an anti-aircraft cannon. So if you'll uh -huh. notice, it can't aim down any farther than it already is. But it could aim at the building when our spy is out, correct? It could absolutely right. aim at the building. And Hi. it's controlled over here, right? You have no way of knowing. Oh, okay, I thought you said it... this one's the building for. You said, I said if you I would hop... assume those big generators are for. Oh, okay. It, if I hop into one of, go hop into one of those X-Wings... I can take that anti-aircraft out before even dipping out, or before getting into its arc, and then... Uh, I mean, it sounds like a good way to die. <laughs> uh, what? The X-Wings would probably not have any sort of ordnance on them besides the, uh, the blaster cannons that it normally comes with. Okay. So, I mean, it, it's a possibility, but you wouldn't have any, any proton torpedoes. What about okay. the y They're uh, They're not... It, the, the ordinance isn't in them. Okay. The guns would work, but there are no bombs. Hmm. And the guns probably wouldn't take out that turret? I would know the answer to that question. You would know the answer to that question. Uh, it's possible, but it would not be easy or fast. Okay. Okay. That turret could easily take out that um, supply tank, though. Okay. Uh, do we want to go take over that turret, then? Mm-hmm. All I'll, right. I'll sneak around uh, to the main base, though, because I'm actually good at that. Well, how about... And... Uh, what path are you taking, Tara? I was about to say, um... Probably underneath the, uh, or behind the landing pad, so around the sludge pit. And then underneath this landing pad? No. Underneath the landing. Oh. Behind, behind... behind the... There's no cover or anything here. These are just, like, metal pads. How tall are they? Maybe a meter? Okay. Never mind um, then. How? Sorry. Through the graveyard then. 
Do any of us have any around the graveyard? No, no, but once once we get control of that turret. <laughs> Okay, Terra. Um, I'm gonna say you're just gonna roll against this group of battle droids as you sneak by. So, well, I was gonna see if I, I was gonna wait before for the distraction. Okay, so where are you waiting? Probably about. Uh, is there good cover around here? I mean, there's a corner of a building. Actually, never mind. We'll go with the original plan. I will roll against those five that, that squadron of battle droids. Okay. All right, so these are minions, which means they only have skills when they are in a group. And also, as it turns out, <laughs> they do not have that particular skill. So, it's screw this up. Uh yeah, it's it's uh let's see here. Perception is based on cunning. So, yeah. the difficulty is 1. All right, dice. Two, Two successes, successes five, five advantages. It actually puts that in the chat. That's handy. Okay. We just know that. Yeah. Yeah. So so it's pretty easy to to sneak by them. Um. What kind of those advantages can I like? How many did you get? Five. Five. Yeah. Oh man. Um. So I think you overhear something. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. Chatty droids. Why, why do we always have to go on patrol? I've literally never seen anybody try and steal anything from this dump. And the other one's like, Shut up! Going on patrol is like the best job around here. Don't let anybody know that you uh, that we never find anybody. And the third one's like, What what time is that shuttle supposed to be here? I'm getting bored. And the other one was like, I don't know. I don't wear a watch, but probably pretty soon... I think that's about it. The ones were so inept. How did? How was numbers? It? Numbers. Numbers. Sheer numbers. <laughs> also, no, I know that. I just like. <laughs> All right. Well, I will note that in my brain muse because I'm not saying anything while I'm stealthing around. Sure. Um, but you can get up to the to the building if you like. Okay. Like, to the side of it, or to the front freaking door? To the side. You don't want to go to the front door. There's there's two that are just standing there on guard. So, meanwhile... Meanwhile... Wait. So, there's this landing pad as well. Actually, do you two want to take the gun, and I'll go clear out that landing pad? Like, kind of simultaneously? Which landing pad? We'll call this the landing pad, and these the maintenance pads. There we go. Yes, the landing pad. There's these two... Two droids up there. Mm -hmm. Like, is there a way up there? There is... That was a dumb question. A... What is the way up there? <laughs> <laughs> there is a door in the front of this building that you would imagine... ...leads All right. inside. Or you could just climb up the side. Um... Athletics. I have the wiki throw you up there. <laughs> How would one climb up the side? Athletics. Coordination? Generator. Athletics? Okay. Athletics. I, f I feel like I'm a through-the-door kind of guy. <laughs> okay. What, what, what do you want us to do? Or, uh, I assume the gun control's in there. But, well, we assume. We don't actually know. What are you and the Wookiee doing? <laughs> Going. Oh, it's my turn? You don't die? Hmm? 
Hmm? Everybody was talking over each other there. Tom just asked what what he and the Wookiee were doing. Is everybody going together? He's splitting up. Uh, I would like to try and climb here. Uh, like, use the generator to get over here. Okay. Um, it's a smooth building, but with the generator there, it's not too difficult. Uh, we'll call it a difficulty two athletics check. That's right, right? Yep. Oh, I cannot roll. Go a little higher. All right, three successes, three successes one, threat. one threat. Um, uh, not sure if on the same turn I could have done something about those droids, or climbing takes the whole action. Uh, yeah, climbing is an action. Also. We're not quite in structured play yet. Okay. So I think the the threat is... Oh. I locked those guys for some reason. Um, yeah, one of them like, Say, did you hear something? And so he's he's looking this direction. He's not moving over towards you, but he's he's looking your direction when you're behind the, the little elevator here. Okay. All right. Uh... uh Tom, let's. What's Jin doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm more of a front door for James. Excuse me. I'm gonna. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I'm, more, I'm better in, in, in inside buildings, anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, because this turret doesn't look like it has a door. It does not. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think we'll. Start sneaking around this way. Okay. Uh, you're going to roll against the same group of droids there. Uh, so it's their perception of one. Or <laughs> cunning. Straight cunning of one. Against uh, whatever your stealth skill is. Okay. So that is one difficulty dice. Yes. Zero so, successes, two advantages. Two advantages. But you did not fail. And did not fail. Tom, what did you get? One success, one, success, one, advantage. one advantage. Okay, and James got two advantages. Okay, so you did not fail. Um. Then I'm going to give it to you. Nobody got any threats. Um, for advantages, uh, I don't know, throw some ideas at me. What are we thinking for advantages? What's something uh, useful? I mean, maybe some creature just made some noise off, you know, the opposite <laughs> direction, and now they're all like... What about that? that Th that's a little too... Advantageous. Yeah, for for what you get, you got two, and Tom got Big one. Green battle droids. Yeah, they start arguing. That yeah. I that I like. <laughs> it's like, listen, I don't care how long you say that you've been uh, activated. You did not kill a Jedi in the Clone War. It's like, no, I totally did. He was trying to block my bat blaster bolts, and and when I dropped my gun, it shot him in the leg, and he fell off. I swear. Yeah. So they're 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 bickering, and you guys can slip right in. Um, I did not map the interior of, of the buildings, but okay. uh, you are in a sort of like a a command center slash like welcome lobby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but you do see what is pretty obvious, the turret control over on the side. Uh, there is, uh, uh, God, I don't know what it'd be. It, they wouldn't trust a battle droid with that. It's a, it's a person. There's a human. He's over there, like, smoking a death stick and hanging out. Huh? Could be an astro droid. No. No, it's a guy. He's smoking the death stick and reading a porn mag. Uh... <laughs> 
Terra, are you just waiting for some sort of a distraction? Uh, I was gonna, is, there's no back door in this place, is there? Um, go ahead and roll perception. What is, is that an actual skill? Uh, skull duggery. Skull duggery. Skull duggery. <laughs> Not a perception. Bet. There is perception, but this is skull duggery. Okay. Specifically, identifying flaws in security systems. Not the best. What's the difficulty? Two. This is not gonna work. One failure, no advantages. Okay, so... Uh, no, there is not any way in besides the front door. I think um, that's what I did was I went looking around for okay. a back entrance. It's a weapons manufacturing factory. So, you know, security, I guess. Where'd I end up? Uh, right back Flying where you started, I think. High. Higher and higher. Butterfly in the sky. Oh, God, no. I'll get that stuck in my head. All right. <laughs> Evan. Hmm. Is... One of them approaching. I... Oh, yeah, but... Uh... He's approaching, so can I wait until he's... He's approach? not approaching, he's just looking your direction. Can I wait my turn until he looks away? Yeah, that's fair. He'll turn around after a few minutes. Uh, yeah, as soon as he turns around, I'm going to take my action. Again, we're, we're not in, in, in combat, so... Uh, you, you can go ahead. Like, uh, what's... Oh, here. Let me... So, one moment. Oh, it's the range meter okay. Whoops. Oh. Well, that didn't work so well. <laughs> Tom just laughed, and I swear to God, he sounded like Chopper. <laughs> okay, so this is a good visual representation of the range bands, right? So, uh, the circle, the inner circle is engaged. The, uh... Outer circle or the second circle is short range, medium, long, and extreme. All right. So for a maneuver, uh, assist, preparation, hybrid. interact, move, change your range increment, meaning you can go from engage to short, short to medium, medium to long, etc. Uh, or you can move anywhere within short range. So I could move there. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Okay, grab your character. So you can you can move to them, right? So you can move anywhere within short range, or change your range increment. So you could go from short to long. To just grab both of them and smash their heads together. Yes. That's Crush. such a Wookiee thing to do. That is a very Wookiee thing to do. Uh, that oh. is going to be an attack. Um, I'm not using the weapons, so... Brawl or melee? You're not using the weapons? Well, I'm crushing... I'm grabbing both heads and crushing them together. Then so yes, that is that the absolutely going to be a brawl. Uh, what is the difficulty engaged? Easy plus modifiers depending on the weapon used. Right. That's this little chart on the white things, right? So melee versus melee. Melee versus True. ranged. Melee, range of light versus melee. Um, melee versus ranged. They have ranged weapons. Uh, I tell you what. Roll a stealth first. Wookie is not stealthy. Okay. Well, this will determine how surprised they are. Uh, difficulty is two. No. Okay. So they are not surprised. They hear you running up towards them. 
thump, 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 thump. Right. Okay, so go ahead and roll... What are uh, those two advantages, though? What are those two advantages? Oh, you know what? It's a boost. Because that's, that's a thing you can do. Ah. Okay, so roll... Put your brawl dice in. Um, add one more boost, because they have ranged weapons, ranged light weapons. The difficulty is two purples. Those are reds. It's the first one. Okay, uh, so the damage is going to be split between the two droids. All right, four, four successes, two threats. two threats. All right, so what is your brawl damage? I think it's just your brawn. It is. It is your brawn. So your brawn damage is four. Um, and you got... You got four successes, so that takes your brawn damage to eight. So four each. So four each. Which I believe, unless they have soak, they do have soak. Oh, they have good soak. Because uh, they're robots. Yeah, actually, because they're robots. So um, you you do enough wounds because that because minions act as groups. You know, you just kind of take each minion group down by combatants one by one. So really, what happens is you smash one of their necks with the other one's head. The one whose head you used is fine, but the one whose neck got hit dies. So I killed the leader, and I and this one's alive. Sure. Uh, cinematically, since it's, it's alive, can yes. it see me like rip apart the leader head and just put it over my head and just growling Wookie, new yeah. leader. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's pretty fucking terrified. Uh, so those... he doesn't speak Wookie, so a yeah. giant furry monster came up and <laughs> he used him as a weapon and then went, Aah! So, now for the two threats. Uh, this one's pretty easy. He he screams, and because all droids are, are linked together, um, you know, it's over the radio, but he's like, Wookie! Wookie! <laughs> and so everybody is on at least some alert now so we're gonna roll color tint can i oh yes okay so that's the red group oh roll initiative yes i i assume this is cool for us that's the green that's cool for you and vigilance for them what is a new, a cool set? Yes. All right. So what do I got? I got red, Zero, yellow, three, and man. green. All right. I got two successes and an advantage. All right. Everybody, just hold it in your head real quick. I mean, it's literally on the table in front of me. So. Or. Drag yourself on the board. Just put yourself in the right spot on the board. Yeah. Oh. Uh, where's the board? There it is. Okay. So, wait. Do successes... Do advantages success, count as advantages successes? Up. or No. Adva no. Advantages are the y-axis and successes are the x-axis. You're with me, uh, James. We're in the same spot. Man, uh, I don't like carrying Wookiees. Wookiees are huge. All right. Oh, wait. You're too fat to be carried. There we go. There's a hog. Now I'm apparently huge. <laughs> wait. This way looks like I'm giving you a piggyback ride and you're shooting behind <laughs> my shoulder. <laughs> I gotta say, I really like playing a tabletop sim. There's certainly advantages. 
Uh, what shit is... Well, it's keeping my interest way more, too, just as a player. Like, when they yeah. were hiding behind the corner there, I was, like, watching. Yeah, you can get to see the whole place and kind of, like, pick your point like of view. Like a whole movie. Well, yeah, that, that's what I was going for done. with this. Yeah, excellent job. Yeah, well, I think when Windraker is done, the next one might actually wind up being in... TTS. TTS, because... All right. This is just cool. Yeah. All right. A lot of prep. A, yeah. lot, a lot of prep for each individual session. Uh, okay, so the white one is this poor little guy up here with the with the Wookiee, and then everybody else is the color of, of one person in their group. Okay. Uh, so it looks like first is James and the Wookiee. Kill the other one. Rip its freaking head off. I'm... I'm... Do whatever you want, but uh, I am I am holding it from the neck and the legs, and I'm rising it up and down like a gorilla, <laughs> and then I'm hitting it against the edge like a club until it just just get destroyed. Okay, so you're beating the one that's left standing with his compatriot. Well, no, I, like I'm, I'm picking this one uh, from the neck and the legs, and I'm rising it up and down over my head like uh, oh, so like, you're trying like, to like grab the sand it people to break it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and once I grab it, I'm just going to hit it against the ground until it's broken. All right, great. Roll Brawl again. Uh, the difficulty is still two plus a blue die. All right, one success, one advantage. All right, so the success means that you do... Your yes, five damage. So you actually only do one damage to the poor guy. <laughs> Ow! Stop that. Uh, the advantage. Uh, I mean, you can look at the the little chart here, and you know, uh, uh, notice a single important inflict a critical injury with a successful attack. But uh, brawn is, I think, four, four. Uh, brawl. I mean, is a four, four. Uh, critical. So, advantage. What's a good advantage? Can I give a uh, chair? Uh, sorry, uh, the character name is Pishi. Pishi. Uh, can I get Pishi a uh, a advantage die on her next move? You can give uh, one. I am making a distraction. You can give one to James because you only have one advantage. And so you can yeah. only give it to the next person in in the oh. advantage. Oh, the the guy in that room is watching the camera now. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Okay. So yes, James now has an advantage. All right. I just want to do that thing where I walk up behind that guy and and then shoot him <laughs> and then shoot him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, range is short, probably, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be like, I don't want him to be able to turn around and somehow grab the gun, but... Yeah, so short range. Uh, difficulty is only one. Clear, and I got one, two, and a three. And only one difficulty? Only one difficulty. Uh, and a boost. And a boost. It's a lot of advantages. Or, uh, yeah, advantages. One success, one advantage? One like. success, two advantages, according to the chat box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Characters. Yeah, combat there. aids. Enemies, there we go. Okay, search. Sorry, I didn't actually have a... Here's a generic security. Uh, maybe not Scarred Gladiator. What else we got here? Who's a good... Vassport City Guard. Sure. Turn it 
turns out they train their city guard like Republic commandos. <laughs> All right. Uh, so his soak value is four. Uh, how much damage did you do? It does six. Six plus however many successes. Uh, six plus one, so seven. Seven, so three damage gets through. Uh, and his wounds are six. Okay, so he takes three damage. Oh, that's... And then oh, how many is... advantages did you get? I got three. Three? What's the or critical two. rating? Two. You got two? Two. What's the critical uh, rating on your weapon? It is three. It is three. Okay, so you cannot activate a crit. Uh, what can you do? You can pass off a advantage to another player of his will, or recover a strain. There's all kinds of things. You Add can do. a black <laughs> die. Coco? <laughs> oh, she's looking at another dog down there. Oh my god, I'd never heard her make that noise before. Okay, uh... Add a black die to his next check, or add a blue to whoever's in there with you's next check would be my two suggestions. Uh, uh, give me the blue. <laughs> yeah, I'll give Tom the blue. By the way, Colin, you never added a color to the two B-droids by the door. I did not, intentionally. Okay. They, they do not go running. They, they are at... Yeah. I just didn't know what they're if you wanted them in the initiative at all. I uh, mm, No. It, I, it was just no. an observation. Okay. Maybe once you attack them, but uh okay, what did I What was I looking at this thing for? I'm sure there was a reason I was looking at that, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Oh, right. Initiative. I never rolled initiative for him. Uh, initiative for him is vigilance, which is cunning, which is two. Oops. So that's two and an advantage. Okay. Uh, he's going to be pink. I think he goes right along with Ever and I. No. Yeah. No, you're right. Uh, but you got surprise on him. Uh, Ever... Oh, you went. James went. Uh... Pink's turn. Yeah, it is Pink's turn. Okay. Uh, I think he's gonna shoot right back at you from, you know, behind whatever thing got slagged. Um. By the oh way, what do you God. get when you use one of the, uh, the fate point thingies? Uh, you can upgrade the ability of a check, or upgrade the difficulty of an opposed check. Okay. So, if, for instance, I could make one one of my checks a dice higher yes. step higher exactly okay. just uh, one dice or all of them one die higher okay cool. Cool, uh, cool, cool there are other things especially as your characters progress more and more but uh, right now it's yes. just health dice. so I didn't really look at the card when I pulled him out but he apparently has a, a, a club some sort of a stun club, we'll say. Uh, so he uses his maneuver to close with you and swings his uh, club at you. So that is two difficulty plus a boost to his three skill. Zero successes, one threat. <laughs> All it right. Trips. <laughs> uh, threat. Active cuss, uh, character suffers one strain, uh, loses the benefits of a prior maneuver, such as taking cover or guarded stance. 
Uh, I think he falls on his face, hits him, like falls over, hits him, but hits his face plants. For one threat, that's that's a little high. Oh, okay. Uh, suffers one strain. So yeah, I mean, he he definitely wallops his head on something. <laughs> Getting shot was surprising. Yes. <laughs> all right, who's next? Yellow. Yellow's all the way over here. Okay. Uh, where is that range band indicator? That's about right. So they are going to change their range increment. And um, after yellow is green, they are also rushing. Here, you want me to... It's not a huge deal. So, basically what I'm doing, because th this is really meant to be a little bit more um, vague with movement. I'm just saying, like, the, the range increments and things. So, what I'm saying for the range increment is, like, they're just making a beeline. If they were moving into cover or something, that would be part of the... Uh, or, like, you know, you can move anywhere within short range. So they could move freely through around in here, or they can just move in the same direction they are to the, the farther range band. I'll, I'll come up with a way of quantifying that a little bit more clearly. Uh, it is now Terra's turn. Alright, I am going to go around and try to climb up this. All right, go ahead and roll athletics. Uh, difficulty is going to be three because there's no, like, generators to climb up on and stuff. If you're just scaling the side of the building. Okay, so it's athletics. Athletics, difficulty three. Okay. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to just try to sneak up behind them and murder eight to them. All right. Uh, then roll sneak versus their... Vigilance, which is cunning, which is one. <coughs> Coco, hush. <coughs> Coco. You have to hush. Two successes, five advantages. Two successes, so you succeed. Five advantages. Uh. Okay. Uh, five advantages. Advantages for everyone. Yeah. Uh, what can you do for five advantages? Negate the targeted enemy's defensive bonus. Ignore penalizing environmental effects. When dealing damage to a target, have the attack disable the opponent. But you're not actually... Could, plus one range defense? could I say the door was slightly ajar? And just... Get on past them instead. Oh yeah, absolutely. That works. Yeah. Inside. Okay. You are inside the factory. Okay. Uh. Who's next after Terra? Red. Who's red? Where's red? Uh, this group down here. Oh yes. Okay. Um. So they are actually going to take cover. Is that a maneuver? I think so. Standard maneuvers. Aim, assist, move, guarded stance, interact with environment, preparation. Interact with environment. Um, yeah, 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 large objects, open or close, store, take cover, gains plus one defense. Uh, sorry. Um, interact with... Uh, Drop prone. Where are you looking? Interact. Uh, open or close the door. Take Oh, take cover. Gain plus one defense. Great. Okay. So they are taking cover behind this X-Wing. And they are going to attempt to shoot the scary wookie. Um, the range there looks like it's just within short. Wait. Hey. No, that is not short. That is medium. 
Also, I don't know if height difference plays into it. Eh. Remember, this is all meant to be very vague. Yeah. So, medium. Medium. Well, yeah. But I, I am going to say... Their blaster carbines have a range... Oh, medium. Okay. I mean, looking at it from their level, I can just barely see Loki's head. Oh, yeah. No, he definitely gets cover. Okay. All right. So, what is the difficulty for attacking... At medium range, it is two. All right, so their ability, there's three of them. Three. Okay, so they're. If I am angry, it is difficult for them. <laughs> it is. I just saw the increase uh, difficulty if target is in rage. Oh wait, no, that's the uh, that's when you are wounded, when you have less than fifty percent of your wounds, you are enraged. Engaged. Engaged. Oh, you're right. You are engaged. What does that do? Well, I think it's a difficulty because they might hit the battle droid, I guess. Yeah, does it say upgrade the difficulty if you're engaged? I'll just look here. Engage, upgrade the difficulty. Yes, okay. So we, they were already going to upgrade it once. So now they are upgrading the difficulty twice to two challenge dice. Uh, yeah, okay. And there are three of them. Nope, they just fire as a group. Okay. One success, but two threats. Alright, so ever I'll let you spend the threats... But they got one success, which means... Oh, inaccurate one. <laughs> no change. Okay. So... Uh, da -da 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 -da, damage is nine. And it was one success. So you take... 10 damage. Now, what is your soak? Ow. My soak is... One moment. 4 uh, plus 2. Six. So, 6. So, yes, you take... Defense is one. Uh, you don't need to... Well, it's, this is range defense, not melee defense. So, you okay, take 4 six. wounds. Okay. And they don't stack, so I'm going to have to change those tokens. They don't stack. <laughs> It, it already drives me crazy. Uh, okay. Uh, so you take four wounds, and... Uh, uh, how do I do the threat? So, let's see. What can you do with two threats? Hey, you know those counters that we have for arcology? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay. Uh, an opponent may immediately perform one free maneuver to the active in response so you could do something an a not an action but a maneuver um in response you can add a boost to your next check uh you can have them suffer to strain um you could have them lose their cover oh oh that um, wouldn't actually do much i would like to interact with the environment if I could use this droid on this uh, elevator to get in. Yeah, that's great. Done. You get in I'll the elevator. i happy if it breaks in the process. Uh, no, that would be an action. So you okay, then have a battle droid like, uh... with you, yes. <laughs> yeah. You are just dragging a battle droid around, and it's just probably screaming, What are you going to do to me? Well, he's going to try and sh fight back eventually. Uh, okay, so that was what group? Red group? Red. No, All right. No, uh, no, no, it's Tom. Yeah, no, it's me. <laughs> so I am... Uh, would you yeah. consider that I am inside the elevator? Or you are absolutely uh, inside the elevator. Okay. All right. Tomas. Punching the shit out of this guy. Okay. <laughs> Brawling, baby. Yeah, go ahead so and what, roll... What's... Uh, so, melee versus melee is difficulty two. 
Is that like spy versus spy? Yes, kind of, actually. <laughs> Alright, one failure, three advantages, and a triumph! <laughs> okay! So, this special lightsabery uh, symbol here is the triumph symbol. Uh, yeah, so you can spend that to do special things that advantages can't do, or anything that an advantage can do. Uh, however you failed. And, well, I'm sorry, how many advantages did you get? Three. Uh, okay, upgrade the di difficulty of the targeted character's next attack. Upgrade any allied character's next check. Oh, I forgot to roll my, uh, my uh, bonus. Oh, oh you can bonus. do something critical. Yeah. Uh, I, you could shoot you want me to roll a boost for you real quick? Hmm? Want me to roll a boost for you real quick? Yeah. Uh, you That's could another try advantage. and shoot like a... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, you don't take the guy down, but you can do something amazing. So if you want, I will let you destroy the controls for the gun. But I get the sense that you might want the gun. Yeah, we kind of want the gun. So, so, so I don't know that it's going to be too helpful because it can't shoot down. So well, you we can upgrade the difficulty. So you can upgrade the difficulty of that guy's next check. You can yeah. upgrade any ally's next check. Including the... Blow up the X-Wing. Help James over there. You can do something vital, such as shooting the controls to a nearby <laughs> blast door to seal them shut. Uh, oh, no. Well, I mean... Oh, yeah. There's no blast door, but that was kind of the... Um, you know, destroy the, the gun controls. Uh... Negate the targeted enemy's defensive bonus, such as defense gain from cover equipment or performing the guarded stance. Ignore penalizing environmental effects. There are none of those. Oh, yeah. What if you, like, forced him to twist in a way that, like, gives me a shot through the armor? You can, yeah. I mean, that would be given given a boost to James on yeah. his next check. Yeah. Well, the, the, oh, but equipment, not armor. Okay. And plus, he doesn't have a defensive bonus. He has soak. That's a little different. Ah, okay. All right. So uh, James takes a boost, and you still have how many advantages? Like Three. Four. So you have two more and a triumph. So I would say upgrade the difficulty of his next check. Yeah. And you can give a boost die to somebody else as well. I'll. Take one, or Ev could probably use one, actually. Yeah, give one to Ev, too. Okay. Uh, White. Uh, yeah, so White is just gonna open up with his little blaster carbine. Uh, inaccurate one, great. Okay. So, may a uh, ranged light versus melee? Yep. Ranged... Light versus melee difficulty is three, plus a black die because his gun is inaccurate. And his ranged is only two, because their skills go up the more of them there are. Oh, whoops. One failure, two threats. So he does not deal any damage and ever can perform some sort of a threat here. Uh, Swing him on the ground real quick to deal extra damage next turn. You can do another free maneuver. You can add a boost to your next check. Or he can suffer a uh, threat to his next action. I would say take another boost. I'll take a boost. All right. I think that's wise. Um, especially because it's your turn. Yep. Uh, I want to go down and see what I see inside the building. I mean, you open the door and you're in the same, uh, sort of open greeting area 
with a air defense console control suite over on the side. Um, part of it is smoking, and there's a, uh, a wounded guy with a club fighting against your two friends. It's driving me crazy. There we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, wooden guy with a wooden club? Uh, it's a it's a metal club. It's a wounded, maze. W wounded, wounded guy. Uh, Injured. Can I grab the gun of the battle droid and toss the battle droid to the thi to the thing that the guy is trying to attack, helping him? You can hug the battle droid. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, that's what I'm trying to do. But keep the gun so I can give the gun to the guy instead of having a club. If you oh, the, give the, up, the guy with the, the guy with the club is a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought he was a good guy. So no. who is he attacking? Me and Kyle and, or uh, James. Kyle, uh, James. I don't see the guy with the club, sorry. It's no, inside. no it's, it's, inside. It's, the, it's inside a building that doesn't have an inside. Ah, then yeah, I'm tossing the I'm, I'm tossing the droid with all the gun to the to the guy with the club. So like just throwing a droid at him? Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean I'm gonna call that brawling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that can't rolling? just be. Hold on. It's gonna be more damage than brawling problem. medium. <laughs> yeah, I damage? guess two difficulty. Maybe three difficulty. I'm gonna say three difficulty. <laughs> two, two successes, successes one, threat. one threat. Okay. So that would deal. Uh, Six damage, so three to each of them. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, unfortunately, the city guard, they both have four soak. No, um, hold on. There's a better way of... Both be prone. Yeah, I like that. Which gives... Yeah, people using melee. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you knock them both prone. And it's James' turn. Vaughn. Vaughn. Um. Well, I assume they're both, like, now lying on the floor in front of me. Yes. Uh. So you have is a maneuver like, and an action. Is there, like, a way to, like, rapid fire into the pile, or...? <laughs> uh, not unless your gun has, uh... Okay. ...linked or rapid fire. Okay. Then I guess... Let's see. Maneuvers... Actions. Perform skill check. Perform combat check. Well, I know he goes next, so I'm just gonna... Like, take a step back and shoot him. Yeah, okay. So... That is... Ability... Ability, proficiency, and a boost, and the difficulty. Uh, it's just brawling because the him being prone adds adds a difficulty to your range attack, but it'll but it adds a, bon a boost to your melee attack. Um, just want to kick him in the head or something. Uh, my brawling is not exactly... <laughs> Alright, so range is short, so the difficulty is one, but he's prone, so that adds a setback die. Okay. I am... I'm still liking these odds. Two successes, two advantages. All right, what's the damage on your pistol? Six. What's the crit? Uh, 
three. Three, okay, so you can't activate a crit, but you can do the six damage plus the two successes, which is eight damage, which kills the city guard. Uh, two advantages. What can you do here? You can... Pass the point off to boost to someone else. Pass the boost, perform an immediate maneuver that does not exceed the two maneuver per turn limit, um, including interact with the environment, say to take over a turret control. There yeah, you go. I'll do that. I'll do that. Let Tom beat the crap out of that battle droid down there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point, that battle droid is so boned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah. is. <laughs> okay. Uh, who goes next? Pink, who's dead? Yellow. Yellow uh, are these guys. They're just, they're moving up. Okay. Uh, green. Opening the door? Yes. Green, open the door. Um. Yeah, I think I think they're gonna shoot it, guys. Um, who who do they see first? Thomas or the Wookie? No, Wookie's in the back corner. He just got off the elevator. I think it's James. Well, James ran over to the controls. Oh, that's right. He did. So yeah. we'll just kind of zoom, zoom him over there. So then, yeah, it's uh, it's it's Tom standing over a battle droid. Oh, thank God. Help me. For God's sake, help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's three of them. So that means that their ability is yellow, yellow. Uh, they do not have a boost. They do have a setback. They're at short range, which is difficulty one. And that's it. One success, two advantages. All right, so for the one success, uh, you take ten damage. It was Soka 4, so... So you take six wounds. And I'll replace these with my uh, wound tokens from the Dresden game, so they'll stack. Before next time. Uh, red bag. On your little tray. No, seriously, I, th I think the, the little Or the counter. Yeah, the counter would be fine. I think that's way better. In, in fact... You can just dump those in right now. Yeah. Uh, actually, you guys need two of those. For stress. Yep. Okay. Um, two advantages. What whoop, does a droid do with an advantage? Pass it off to the next droid. Uh, negate targeted enemy's defensive bonus. Penalizing dealing damage. Have the attack disable the opponent or one piece of gear rather than dealing wounds or strain. You know what? I like that. Uh, no. Droids aren't smart enough for that. Gain plus one melee or range defense until the active character... Okay, they're going to have plus one melee defense. Just from the sheer volume that these little carbines are pumping out of inaccurate fire, it's going to make it harder for you guys to, to close and, and do melee damage. So plus one defense literally just means you roll a black die when attacking the green group. Okay, after green is Terra. Yeah, so what you do are I see? inside the building. Yeah, it's a it's a full on like weapons foundry. Things are going. Um, you notice that they're turning out uh, an upgraded version of the sort of iconic stormtrooper. What is it? The E eleven carbine. Yeah. Uh, but okay. these look these look uh, newer and nicer. You know, they have some scopes and some other um, add on attachments. Uh, your tracker thingy is pointing across the room. 
and uh, there's nobody over there except uh, an R4 astromech droid. All right, well, I'm going to grab uh, from my... Man I'm going to do double maneuver. Okay. So I'm going to do a grabbing one of these carbines. Or actually, can I... Uh, I'll grab one of these carbines and shoot at the damn... The, the droid. The droid where the tracker is pointing? Oh, didn't... Oh, wait. Were we told... Oh, it's a team we were supposed to pick up. No, it, no was a it was an spy. informant, and the informant oh. is a droid. Oh, and there's another dude over there. No, there's just a droid over no, there. No, we're, we're here droid. picking up that droid. Sorry, I heard there was another guy in there. I did not. I misheard something. Okay, so I'm going to grab a carbine and then walk over to the droid. Okay. Uh, I don't know how whistles are going to come out on this, but... Grab the little droid machine. Uh, I think I have it stashed in a box somewhere. Oh. I probably have... Knowing my past, I probably have droid. Okay. So, yeah, it, 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 it's, uh, it's basically saying that you don't look like you belong here. I'm your ride. It's like, okay, well, we can't leave quite yet because um, we have to catch them red-handed. There's a shuttle coming soon. I know. We gotta go. And he starts moving towards the door. Okay. I will follow. Okay. My new gun. Um... All right, after Terra's turn is red. The group hiding behind that X-Wing there. Yes. Um, cover? Yeah, they're actually going to take cover behind the speeder. They're, they're moving up. But they are, they are ready for anybody to come out of there. Okay. Um, Thomas. Thomas. Um. <laughs> so you do an action and then a maneuver? Uh, you get one maneuver and one action, and through various means you can take an extra maneuver. Yeah. Mostly want to know I can attack and then move. Oh, or yeah, if you want to attack the, the droid on the ground that's begging for his life. Yeah. Yeah, you can attack him. Yeah, I'm going to attack him and then... Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and attack. Alright. Melee to melee is... Oh, wait, but I get one... Uh... Yeah, melee to melee is two, but a boost because he's on the ground. No successes, but two advantages. Okay, well, <laughs> pass the boost on to Ever? Yeah. All right. I call what weapon is this? And I'm diving behind the desk. <laughs> it's the one um, that I put over here on your character. Am I able to draw my blades and just charge at these droids? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And my, my maneuver, I'm, you know, getting behind the welcome desk. <laughs> Perfect. We'll pretend there's a welcome desk there. All right. Ever charges into battle, and go ahead and roll your attack. Uh, melee versus ranged white, or light, is... It's over here that the dice pool for the blades are two yellows, two greens, and a blue one. Is that for each blade, or... No. For That's for using both of them at the same time. They gain accurate one. Which gives you the blue die. So you get the blue so die. So get another? Yes. And then, wait, 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 why are there three purple dice in there? You should only be rolling two purple dice and an additional blue die. Last turn was three purple dice. Oh, yes. Okay, so add another blue die in there. 
One for your maneuver, one for the accurate bonus, and um, one because you're attacking somebody with a ranged weapon in melee. And one for me. Yeah, that's the maneuver. Okay. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll. All right, one success for all that, but five, five advantages. advantages. Okay, what's the crit rating on... Three, probably. The blade is three. Is three. So you can deal a critical wound and immediately destroy one of them. I'll do that. Uh, damage is five. Damage is five plus one wound, which is six. Uh, <laughs> though, so they take two damage because they are droids. Uh, they are also defensive one for melee, which is going to be nice. Um... Uh, you still have two advantages, so you could pass a uh, boost off to somebody. I have five of them, right? Yeah, but well, you spent three of them to activate the crit. Got so it. two left. So two left. So you can either... S I'll give two to Vaughn. You get one to... Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, you... Uh, you can only take that once. So you can give no, one. No, no. I mean, I'm gonna use the two advantages I got left to give one of. Uh, one He's advantage. actually next in the initiative order. So it only takes one. So it only takes one, and then. I, mean, I think he's operating a air turret right now. Yeah. Uh, notice a single important point. Inflict a critical injury. Activate a weapon quality. Uh, oh God! What weapon qualities does that have? Uh, this is. It'll say, like, accurate right. one. Uh, accurate, defensive, sunder, disorient, knockdown, stun setting. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so <laughs> you can you can knock them down for those two. Or sunder means that you can uh, damage a piece of equipment that one of them is carrying. You're, they could, could cut one of their guns in half. Yeah, I want to break one of the, game, the guns in half. Uh, normally you could only damage the the gun by one step, but um, because it's funny and they're battle droids, I'm going to say you go ahead and snap one of their guns in half. Okay. That's my turn. Oh, no! And the one on the floor is like, stay away from him, he's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Vaughn. I am going to swing this gun turret around and start shooting at the tank depot. Yeah, I don't really... Okay. I don't think whoever wrote that knew what a depot is, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Gunnery? Yeah, gunnery. Um, difficulty one. Do we want to catch the gun? But anyway... I mean, all the shooting that's going on around here. Besides, I'm supposed to make a distraction. This seems distracting. <laughs> yes, that is very yeah. distracting. <laughs> and I have a boost, too? No. No, okay. An advantage. Zero success, one advantage, huh? Alright, yeah. I don't think you destroy it. Uh, uh, but... I, think... I, I mean, honestly, if, if it's distracting, that's really what I was going for. Yeah, you light something on fire and, like, the entire place is lit by this, you know, giant glowing jet of whatever horrible chemicals are stored inside of that tank ignite yay i bet that is really distracting especially to something with add like a battle droid <laughs> yeah <laughs> what was that okay 
Uh, whose turn after Vaughn? Yellow. Is Yellow still alive? Yellow is still alive. Uh, yeah, what the hell are they doing? Calling, well, they just got distracted as hell, probably. Yeah, actually, they're gonna lose their turn. <laughs> uh, green are inside and don't really notice. So, uh, the one got, uh, they only have one gun, so I'm only gonna count this as one attack against the Wookiee. Uh, so, let's see here. Antiquated Battle Droid. Two greens. Ugh. Versus three. Difficulty. No successes in four threats. So, uh, ever, you get a boost on your next check. And, uh... The one without a gun, gun fails. <laughs> I don't know. Spoken with a gun and... Yeah, yeah, no, actually, that that's fine. The one without a gun just runs out. <laughs> oh, no. Into a hail of gunfire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, that's they not... They learned Overwatch! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> because they're distracted and all they see is something coming out that door. <laughs> oh, no. <sure. laughs> uh, versus difficulty one at short range. Three successes, one threat, one triumph. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is immediately destroyed. <laughs> I'm just like, picturing his arms up there like, ah! <laughs> Wait, cease fire! That was one of ours! Cease fire! Cease fire! Okay, uh... Who's next? Oh, these guys have been on long enough that are... Yeah, I mean, they haven't been shut down since the Clone Wars, so they don't actually do the Roger Roger thing. Uh, alright, who... Uh, well, they next. would have been shut down for the Clone Wars because there's that general send out message. To uh, shut that's true. Down. But it, yeah, a couple months afterwards, they could have been picked up and turned back on. Okay, that was what? Green? Yes. So, Terra's turn. Uh, is. Does the droid move with me? Yeah. At the same time. Alright, well, I'm gonna take cover behind the door for my maneuver and blast the shit out of these two droids at the door. Okay. Uh... And I am going to actually up one of my dice. I'm going to use one of these. No, we haven't used these yet. Alright. So then, let's see. What is your ranged light? Wait, is that uh, ranged light or ranged heavy? It's ranged heavy, but they're the same. There's yeah, okay. five. Five? Five green? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be one yellow and four green then. Yep. One, two, three, four, one. What is the um The difficulty is only one. Alright, two successes, one advantage. So uh the two successes make the damage eleven. Uh droids four, so seven damage. You kill one and deal three damage to the other out of four. Okay. Um, Can I up damage with that remainder one? Or no. Not? Success is up damage. So you can recover one strain, but you haven't used any strain. Uh, add boost to the next uh, character's check. Notice a single point in the ongoing conflict, such as the location of last order, blah, blah, blah. Inflict a critical injury, except the critical thing is too low. Activate a weapon quality. That one doesn't have anything. So really, you can I give will a pass boost. off the next player. Who is Tom? Who is Tom? All right. Did that count as Red's turn, or? I'm sorry? Did blowing up that green unarmed drawing count as Red's turn? Or? Yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> So now it's Tom. Now it's Tom. <coughs> okay. Still that one on the freaking ground. 
I might have forgot Let's to have him move last time. It. In fact. He's gonna be a new crewmate. Don't oh, is he dead? He's not dead, but... Oh, please have him surrender. I would love to have a B1 just rambling around our Yes, ship. he's gonna be a new crewmate. Don't destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think he's like... Please, please, I promise I'll stop shooting at you. Please! Well, I did took away his carabine, so he can't. <laughs> And then I guess there's just, just just the one with uh with ever. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go punch that guy in the face. Hopefully it'll work. It. Okay. Um. I don't know if it actually works like this or not, but I feel like if there's two of you fighting against somebody one on one, mm -hmm. you get a boost. Mm -hmm. So you get two boosts. Uh, difficulty is two plus a third boost. Oh, you forgot to delete one of the door droids. Like I forgot to delete one of the door droids? Yeah. Because there's only two of them. Oh, I just haven't yet. I'm sorry. I just noticed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, Zero <laughs> successes. That's crazy, but five advantages. Mm -hmm. What can one do with five advantages? Perform a free maneuver. Uh, add a negative to the droid, add a boost to somebody else. Yeah. Um, Does activating the turret count as activating a weapon quality? No. Activating a weapon quality is like if you have Sunder or, or Knockdown or something. I mean, if he oh. really wanted to, he could pass off uh, one to the next guy, which would be Ever, and then one to the guy after, and then one to someone else. He kind of used that one twice. Well, he's using yeah. two different ones. One of those yeah. is next allied character, and the other one is any allied any. character. Ah, okay. So that can be done. So if he really wanted to, for instance, he could give you two boosts, for instance. Yes. And I would only and cost still two. have two left over. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I need two to get rid of this. I'm giving them to you anyway. I don't the care. way we've been rolling, the weird way we've been rolling. We That's might. just what this system does. But it's kind of fun because it adds some some narrative besides just yes or no. Mm, that yeah. No, I, I actually kind of like it. And when yeah, you I'm have two add, left, and it makes sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna add two to. Ever's next one, and then you can also add a difficulty to that four guys. Green's next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Aww. May as well. Especially if <laughs> green is gonna go... Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, white is given up. Or reds, you can choose. No, oh, it's yeah. it's whoever you attack. It's the target yeah, character. So yeah, whoever, yeah. I have an idea, I have an idea. But on my next turn, I'll share it. I, I think it is your next turn. It um, is your next turn. Okay. In my next turn, uh, I will use my attack... Not to murder the destroy, but to also destroy his weapon and toss him next to the other droid while growling almost like, yeah, this is your new life now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so you are specifically targeting... The weapon. The I weapon. To use, uh, if I get an event enough advantages, a sunder to destroy the weapon. We're going to need to buy some restraining bolts. <laughs> this place has got to have restraining bolts around. So, same roll, or do I gain or lose one boost? Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Um, if you're targeting the weapon with the Sunder quality, that's just going to be advantages. Uh, how do I beat him enough but without killing him? I mean, we got one. Yeah, we don't need J to. Just go ahead and roll, and we'll just do this based on the success. How's that? I have... No Zero successes advantages. Four, advantages. four advantages. Okay, oh, so you can... Perfect, because you can activate it. Yeah, so okay, yeah, you can I'll activate, activate the Sunder, Sunder quality four times and break his weapon. Uh, okay, so... Wait, no. you can activate a quality without, without hitting? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I should have... It's, it's the advantages. Should have been using my uh, concussion and stuff then. <laughs> Do I have any... Oh, yeah. Uh, 
any other action to toss it with the yeah. other droid. Droid. Okay, so yeah. They just grow. And that basically means what I said. Like, this is your new life now. Because of one disorient one yet, yeah, you could use any of those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, who is next? Uh, James. Vaughn. Vaughn. Vaughn, um, your targeting computer is chirping. There is an incoming target. Uh, I am going to get on comms. Do we have comms? Are they free? Or do we have to buy those? No, you have to buy those. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I have a communicator, I think. So no, I. I don't. I don't think I bought one. Are the only one of us who has a comm link? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. I don't know why I didn't take one. <laughs> Oh, I also bought happened. rope. Probably the one has rope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charles Bronson. Charlie Bronson's always got rope. <laughs> um, I will aim at it. Okay. Um, I even through the targeting computer, I feel like the cross section of the Lambda shuttle is pretty distinctive. Okay. I will smile and say, Lambda class shuttle coming in. How do I not have. Alright, I, I, well. I'm actually, as he says that, I'm going to have a prickle at the back of my neck and go, Oh, I really hope they don't blow that thing up. <laughs> okay. I had a Lambda model, but something weird happened to it. I so. saw it. It it was on the table, and then it yeah. disappeared. Yeah. I don't I don't really know, so it's going to be this Krennic fiddle <laughs> instead. You it, you dropped it into this box over here, or something. Because that one just disappeared, too. It's not in that box. Not in that box. Not in that box. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, you can't see the Krennic shuttle right now is what you're saying? Yeah. How about now? Now yes. Okay. Uh, that scale is... Way off. Super raw. Alright, there you go. Uh, also, it's facing the wrong direction, but so what? Okay, so... Big Imperial shuttle coming in for a landing. Uh, oh, did you uh, just say you're performing the aim maneuver? I am performing the aim maneuver. Okay. Uh, um, yellow. What? Oh wait, is aim in action or aim in maneuver? Aim is a maneuver. Is it? Oh. Yeah. So spending consecutive maneuver aiming adds another boost. So you can aim at it twice and it's shoot yeah. next turn or aim at it and shoot now. I think I'm gonna keep aiming and let it get closer. Okay. So you get two boosts. So oh, I, I am just gonna set this up and add those boosts and everything and then yeah. when I shoot just let me know the difficulty. Okay. By the way, Colin, yes. uh, the droid by the door, the one that's got one HP left, does not have an initiative. The green one? The one by the one by my door. Oh, right. So you might want to pick, like, a... I'll have him move with yellow. Okay. Oh, which is now. Okay. I meant to do that later, too. Uh, all right, so these yellow guys are going to move up with these... Guys, and they're all standing nice and close together behind this landscaper. And the guy by the door is going to shoot at the lady that just shot his buddy. Uh, cover. All right, and set back for the inaccurate. And what did you say? I'm oh. in behind cover. Right, which is going to upgrade the difficulty by one. Whoops. Boom. Okay. Z 
Zero successes, zero advantages. Wow. Wow. Okay. A couple shots go flying over my head. Yeah. Did a whole lot of nothing. Hey, where the hell did you come from? Uh, green. Oh, point to the sky. Like a smartass. Uh, I think the green guy just says, uh, how about I just go lay down over here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Good idea. And, and like, fetals up. <laughs> like they do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. We'll just not and then Tara, it's your turn. The door. Tara, sir. Oh, yeah, I will uh, shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Alright, I no longer have this one. But still difficulty one. Yeah, he's still at short range. Cool. One success, three advantages. What's your crit? Oh. Well, I'll kill it anyway. I'd... Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to pass that off. I'm going to pass one off to the next guy and then pass a boost, off, which is who? Next is um, Tom. And then pass one off to uh, James. Okay. Some uh, additional boost. So an additional boost. Uh, Thomas. Okay. Um. There's no other. The green guy surrendered. <laughs> the green guy surrendered. Yeah. Nice. All right. Um. <coughs> Mr. Mr. Johnson told us what they were doing here, right? I think. What? Who is doing here? Yeah, it's an Imperials production. No, but I mean, like, what he sent his team to find out what they were doing here? Uh, no, he sent the spy to find out what they're doing here. He sent a yeah. team to extract the spy, and they didn't make it. And like, we yeah, can't we can... talk to the spy. No, but it might pay us more if we uh, capture the Imperials. I mean, there's always a bounty for Imperial officers. That's like New Republic 101. Kind of. And I, <laughs> and I have a placard hunter, so I'm like, hey, we should uh, let him land and... <laughs> capture him. Well, you don't know that there's an incoming shuttle. That's true, never mind. So I'm just gonna... No, Kyle said, in... it said uh, Imperial in... Shuttle in... Oh, in... yeah, that's right, you did. I, okay. I did, yeah. <laughs> well, alright. Yeah. I'm like, hey, we should, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna take, take position by the door in case somebody comes in, and then, like, hey, we should uh, let these guys land, and I don't know. Take their <laughs> take their shit. <laughs> see, if we, see if we can take them. Kyle, I'll let you respond if you want. James. Damn it. I got so yeah. much better at that. Uh. I'll just say, uh, I got an idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um. James. Uh, oh, ever. No, Wookie. Wookie. Um, I'm just gonna guard the door in case they come in. I'm gonna jump on them. Probably pull two, close the door, and then punch the two that we pulled in. Okay. Uh. Now it's James. What's your uh, idea, James? Go for All it. right. So I will. One more second of, or one more boost dice of aiming. Okay. And then, can I shoot it in a way that will cause it to crash but not explode? Shoot to disable. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What are we going to do? We like, I want to force them down. 
Yeah. Um... I think we've been pooling all this aiming. <laughs> Like eight million bonuses. Yes, but we're gonna upgrade the difficulty twice for that. Okay, so that means that. Uh, okay, so the the range increment on the planetary scale is medium, so it would be two purple dice. But we're gonna upgrade that twice, so it's gonna be two red dice, two challenge dice. Actually, you know what? I am gonna continue aiming. <laughs> I am going to let them get, like, close. That way their survivability of the crash is better, too. Alright, I think they will land after your next initiative if you don't do something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize they could land and close the, the distance in the same... You, know, you, you said after your your next one. So, so like on their turn. next initiative, they're gonna move more. So after this turn, I'm not gonna get a shot. No, they're gonna land after your next turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I next I, I, I can last... continue aiming right yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Uh, yellow. Is there still a yellow around? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm actually just right, gonna haven't... bunch Sorry, all these. Fire. What five? All five of these are one now, and we'll just use red because it's the worst in their battle droids. Uh, so, Tara. Uh, I am going to aim at this group. Okay. And then lay into them. All right, the range is long. Is that the range on your... Yep. Wow, okay, they do not have cover. In fact, since their backs are to you, I'm going to give you an extra boost die. Okay, so what's difficulty? Uh, long range is... Three. Okay. Seven successes... Jesus. One threat. One threat. Okay. Uh, well, let's look at the... Nine plus seven. Uh, nine plus seven is 16. Yep. Soak value is four. So three of them are dead? Yep. Wow. Well done. And <laughs> I'm actually really good at the blaster. Your your cheap ass blaster overheats. What? No, uh, it's, a it's the new one. Brand oh, spanking new, yeah. Oh, oh! I grabbed one off the assembly line. Um, character loses the benefit of a prior maneuver. I'm gonna go ahead and say that you suffer a strain. I suffer strain. Okay. Yep. How many? One. Just one. Uh, right. Uh, reds. I think they're going to run around to this side to take cover. <laughs> and they shoot at you, but it is outside of the maximum range of their weapon. So it is entirely ineffectual. Do they just get close enough for Ev and Tom to Listen, be able to... they, they don't plan ahead, okay? Yeah, Somebody's no, shooting I'm... at them, they take cover. <laughs> Would we be able to take our actions after they shoot? Because then they held actions, was what I'm saying? Well, until they... Oh, no, they didn't go inside. They're on the other side of the... Uh, Open door, okay. The, 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 the other the car. packs are to ever and Tom. Yeah. Yes. Which, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that I could just open the door, see their backsides, pull them in, and push, uh, close the door. And, well, Tom's well, turn. It is Tom's yeah. turn. True. <laughs> yeah. You know, you did say you would wait until yeah. they came inside. So yeah. if somebody somehow brought one inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to pull one inside. 
Yeah, okay. Uh... Get the pile. <laughs> you, get the pile. Difficulty is one you red die. No. Okay. no, I'm sorry. We're just going to have a whole shitload of B1s doing maintenance on our ship. Now. I am okay with this. <laughs> okay, it's one red, one purple, and one blue. Plus, you know, whatever your other stuff is. So it's brawling? Yes, it's brawling. And is it... Is it, uh... Melee versus ranged, or...? Yeah, that's why it's one... Oh, yeah, I upgraded right, the yeah, difficulty yeah. once, but... Gotcha. Because you're, you're specifically pulling the guy inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, did you use one of the thingies? No. I'm saying okay. for his... <coughs> oh, okay. for pulling. One failure, five advantages. Okay, so you don't do any damage, but you definitely pull the guy inside, and I'm going to give yeah. you three more uh, advantages. Oh, so yeah, what does your glove do? Yeah, so it's got uh, concussive, disorient, knockdown. So you can spend oh, no. one to knock him down. Mm -hmm. And then you could give anybody a boost. <laughs> give me a boost. Give me a boost, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll knock, him, knock him down and I'll give Kyle a boost. James. James. Sorry. Um, see, James. Uh, so give, actually, I can give you... Two I boosts. mean, yeah, theoretically... Ever and I are actually going at the same time. <laughs> well, Ev actually has a held maneuver that he's about to do. Oh, that's I want to give one to Ev and one to Kyle. Uh, well, then you can't activate the quality because you got five and two of them were to pull the guy inside. Oh, right, right, okay. Sorry, I was uh, misheard. I thought you like, give me a... you have three more, okay. Okay, yeah, then I'm going to activate the quality and give one to James. Okay. Uh, ever, are you going to attack that poor, poor battle droid on the floor? I'm just going to break his weapon and then toss him into the pile. Jesus, okay. Upgrade the difficulty of your, your melee attack. I'm going to have to look at exactly what the targeting a specific thing. Oh, upgrade the difficulty would have changed one of those to a red die. Oh, sorry. Uh, you want me to reroll? I think you just there you go. red die and roll it. Yeah, just hover over it and hit. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Read. One success, four advantages. advantages. Yeah, so you activate Sunder four times and break his weapon. <laughs> uh... Yeah. I mean, for that one, uh, for that one uh, damage, he could just have it be hucked into the pile. <laughs> sure, why not? Into the droid pile. I, I, I feel like at this point, the other two droids are just like, stay down! <laughs> stay <there>. Trust me, <laughs> it's way pile. easier! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's going on? Shh! Don't make him angry. I love it. We we, we killed the one living guy. And we, <laughs> all the droids were saving. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, whose turn is it? It's oh, it's Ever's turn. Oh, then you I go out and pull the last one. <laughs> uh, you're pulling him inside. Yes, I'm pulling him inside and punching him inside and doesn't go into the pile if I can on the same turn. All right, roll roll it up. We'll see. We'll see what you get. Um. Yeah, we upgraded the quality. So actually, uh, with the exception of the boost, accurate. Yeah. Uh, wait, why were there three boosts in there? Uh, because uh, I think Tom gave me two, and I also gave him one from my blades. Yeah. Yeah. There okay. Right. So roll, roll what you got here. Zero successes, uh -huh. one advantage. So that is not enough to pull him inside. I, you needed two advantages for that. Can I just activate my weapon quality stun? Yes. 
Uh, wait. Okay, so wait, I go wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure. Weapon Stun qualities. Setting, I think. Stun setting. Uh, is well, the there, there's two. There's stun setting, which means that every attack makes it, or stun, which you can just. It's a quality. Uh, stun damage. Uh, stun active when triggered, inflicts strain equal to rating. So is it stun one? It's stun setting. Oh, it is stun setting. So okay. then that would be nothing. Yeah, um, you have to do that at a time. If that's the case, then maybe Sunder? Would I be able to use Sunder on that? Yes, but you only you only damage it by one step, so anytime he uses it, he gets one black die in there. I mean, Yeah, no problem. Okay. That's good enough. Uh, so yeah, you like pop out and swipe your hand down and, and slice through the tip of his blaster. Uh, <laughs> Alright, James. Just the tip. The shuttle is slowing, and it's changing its wings into landing position. You could definitely aim one more time. I, I, I definitely can. <laughs> All right. Are, are we ready for this? Uh, how many... What's the difficulty? Uh, what There's is the two, difficulty? Two red dice. That's what you said. Yeah, two it red dice. Two, it, it is closer now. Yeah, but not an entire range band closer. Like the the range bands for vehicles are on on a bigger scale. Okay. So. Jesus! Look at all those. Oh my god. Oh my gods. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's successful. Two success and a threat. Okay, <laughs> so I think the threat is maybe you hit it in a place you didn't intentionally aim for. Crashing into the building. Sure, perfect. Uh, so it, it hits the ground a little harder than intended. Oh, that's what the problem was. I hit the fucking thing upside down. <laughs> uh. Why can't I touch it? Is it locked? Oh, that's weird. It automatically locks when you... <sighs> it took out her next wing. <laughs> and maybe a TIE Fighter, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. Your pilot is upside down. Yeah, well, so is his ship. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you, you fuck it up. It crashes. Um, all of these guys are, like, totally messed up as they're pulling themselves out of the wreckage. Apparently only one of them is dead, though. <laughs> Initiative? No, I don't think we need that. Surrender. Yeah. Okay, uh, Terra. Well, he's in close combat with that droid, so, um, I am going to double aim at the Imperials for cover. Or, er, for, uh, for my turn. Okay. Um, there is some, some obstructions in there, so that'll, um, add I a setback die. But I'm, I'm, but that's, that's what I'm doing. Great. Double aiming. Um, who's next? Uh, There's the... so many Imperial pilots in that ship. Because they uh, intended to come take their ships. Red guy's next. Red guy uh... is next. He is going to shoot at the scary Wookiee. Uh, he is the last one left. So his ability is one green and one yellow. Remember the black dice. And one he has black right. Two black dice because it's inaccurate in the first place. Uh, and then shooting from range or shooting melee into ranged is two melee uh, range light versus melee three three purple dice. 
All right, let's see what happens. One success, one threat. All right, so he deals 10 damage to the Wookiee. The Wookiee who soak is six, four, so four six. damage. Wounds get through, four wounds get through. And uh, one threat. You know what? I think he just hurt his gun by another step. <laughs> and Tom. So you didn't see it, but you know. <laughs> you know that ship just crashed. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to punch this droid then. Which droid? Oh, that droid, droid yeah. Outside, yeah. Just walk outside there, bam! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Tom. Let's see you roll some successes this time. Yeah. Right? Uh, difficulty <laughs> is two purples, but you get a blue. Alright, one yeah, success, yeah. one advantage. Alright, so, uh, what's the damage on your gloves? Uh, five. Five, that must be including your brawn then. Okay, yeah. um, so you deal five, six damage, so two gets to the droid. Uh, yeah, what's what's con con concussive do? Uh, let's see, concussive, when triggered... Target is staggered a number of rounds equal to its rating. But you oh, need geez. you need two advantages to trigger that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but you only need one advantage for knockdown. Yeah, I'll knock him down. <laughs> Get the file! <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, looks like the Wookiee now. It looks like the Wookiee now. <laughs> the Imperials are just still getting out of the ship. Yeah, they're, you know, pulling themselves out of the wreckage. There's fire everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing him in the pile. Yes, just toss him into the pile, and I guess I'm going to head over into this part. No, wait. They he still has the gun. Right? I'm sorry, what did you oh, just he, say, Ever? He still has the gun? I thought it was destroyed when he got another... Yeah, it's just... I, 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 think, I think he was the last surviving battle droid, and he hands you the gun and walks over there. <laughs> <laughs> he just, like, tosses it, uh, tosses wait, the wait. gun away. Wait, wait, don't hit me anymore! Please, here! <laughs> Go. If so you're, you're taking going... captives, I'll opt for that option. <laughs> <laughs> and they all get over. Welcome to the pile. <laughs> hey there. Hi. Oh, welcome. <laughs> so I guess he's going to go straight into uh, more battle. Well, I think this is as far as I can go. Yeah, that's about as far as you can go. Yeah, he's just going to go like... <laughs> Uh, I okay. will shout when I see that Wookiee running out there. Keep a couple alive! <laughs> Alright, who's next? Uh, James, me. what is your plan now, James? Alright, so James is going to hop off the gun. Okay. And move his way over to the door. And then he is going to do that weird thing... <coughs> That helped him survive the war. And I'm going to use my Force Sense power. Okay. Uh, it's Sense nearby. Um... May spend a yin yang to sense all living things within short range, including sentient and non sentient beings. Okay, so go ahead and roll this Force die for me. Okay, how do I achieve that? Where's that? Right in front Aha. of you. Oh, because I'm Force user, you just gave me one. 
Okay, so you generate two force points, and they're light side points. So you spend the light side points, and you can sense, yeah, so you sense all the living beings within sort of short range. So yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't think this version gives me a whole lot, but yeah, I, I mean, I can get all of them there. Like, I, I can tell that a short bunch range of them are alive. Short range is the first ring. Oh, is it? Yeah. I so thought that was close. No. So there's oh. engaged, which is the center ring, and then short range, medium range, and... Oh, wait. Yeah, short, uh, engaged, short, medium, long, and then extreme. So yeah, the, they're at medium range. No, the outside edge of medium range. See, and I thought that was short range, so... No. You have a pile of battle droids. No, they're not alive. No, just just my friends. Just your friends and assorted like turtles and lizards and things in the in the X Wing Rex. Yeah. But my question is, would the other force users feel that? Uh yeah, I would say that Jin would. Just look up. Okay. Um. Who next? Tara. I now take one more aim maneuver and then blast the shit out of that group. Okay. Uh. I was gonna ask them to surrender, but I guess I can do that too. Uh, alright, so you're at what range? Extreme range? Probably long range? Long range. Oh, right. So difficulty is three plus a black die for the wrecks and stuff in between you. Oh, no. Setback. Yes. Four successes, six advantages. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. Uh, you can activate critical twice and kill two of them right off. I will do that. And then, how many successes did you get? Done. Four. Four plus nine is thirteen, and their soak is five, Wait. so eight. Can we not, can we keep the captain alive for questioning? Uh, there wasn't an actual leader, except the oh. guy flying who's already dead, so. Th these are just, like, some mooks that were told to pick up ships. Okay, I thought there was, like, uh, an actual leader we could question, and that was our target. Yeah, nope. So, yeah, I did the 13. All right. You kill three of them in that burst, and then uh, another one is 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 hit with a pretty direct hit. Uh, wow. Okay. And I will actually say to the droid, "Would you mind grabbing a couple of those carbines for me?" <laughs> and he rolls inside. Um, Bre yeah, I, I, I'm going to say we're, we're out of combat, out of combat with combat. the droids now. Uh, does anybody else want to kill some stormtroopers or Imperial pilots? I mean, honestly, uh, it sounds like we could walk over there, point guns at them and be like, don't, don't think about it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they're literally there pulling themselves out of the right running at them. Yeah, uh, and three, I mean. And three of them just got <laughs> gunned down. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, we're just... Yeah, I, I think at this point we all just, like, blast out of there and... Get on the ground! Get on the ground! <laughs> like, the one that was managing to pull himself up flops back down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... You know, go through and make sure everybody's disarmed. Yeah, I mean... Most of the guns are probably in the flaming wreck. 
Uh, maybe one okay. of the living stormtroopers still has a gun. Okay, go take it. Yeah, none of the pilots have guns. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Now what? I I look over at the guy who said maybe we should take them hostage. Just like Jin. Now what? Uh, I will walk and out and, and yell right. over at them and go, Hold up! Don't kill them all! The spy needs them for evidence! Yeah, see. Oh, good. You find the spy? Yep. And there's a droid holding two carbines. <laughs> it it wh whistles and beeps something to the effect of, Well, I was supposed to catch evidence of them uh, taking weapons in exchange for payment from this company, but... Well, I, I think we'd already killed the dude. <laughs> like, it was just a bunch of droids and, and one dude around here? That's Yeah, that's all you saw. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the droid. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all who was around here. <laughs> I knew okay. we should have killed a human. Yeah. Well, he was dead, like, right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, okay, I suppose that you can take me back to my master. Great, cool. but we're going to ransack this place. <laughs> okay, where should I wait? Ownership. I mean, I'm taking an X-Wing if you want to oh. hop on one of those. I'm not that kind of astromech. <laughs> I mean, you can still get picked up by it. I don't like flying. <laughs> Well, you're going to hate how we get to the next spot. Flying inside a ship is okay. But being up in the air, wind through my hair with no, uh, no protection. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 like, wave my hand and, like, kind of rub the top of it and, like, ding its antenna or something. How many ships can we fit in our ship? In your ship? Or on, attached to Zero, it. yeah. <laughs> so... Your ship is not designed to carry ships inside of it. However, if you do not have cargo on the pylons on the side, you can easily fit uh, a fighter on either side. Uh, if you're not worried about sort of a decrease in maneuverability, um, just from like the way that the additional mass would throw off the, um, you know, the balance of the engines and everything. You could also connect one onto the belly of the ship, but it would also take away the ability for one of your ports to fire while it was there. The other thing to think about is, because your ship isn't designed to carry other ships, um, getting in the ship, getting from the ship into a fighter is going to require a spacewalk or is not going to be possible. Well, it, all I'm caring about is getting the ships, or getting the ships attached to our ship, because we can have three ships. So, three, honestly, four, if you're just thinking short term, but you wouldn't yeah. be able to use either turret. Do you want to bring the Thai interceptor, the Thai advance, and two X wings? I mean. The are there Amplify, any better the Interceptor, and the X-Wings are probably our best. Yeah, right? I mean, I would suggest a Y-Bomber, but I think an X-Wing is better than a Y-Wing. Oh, yeah. Even if it is a bomber. For what we want? Yeah. Yes. Because we're not going to be bombing anything. We're going to be spacefaring. Yeah, the Advanced Tide, the Interceptor, and then the two X-Wings will load up. Okay. Also load up the prisoners and our new droids. Are there any restraining bolts around? I'm certain there are. Just swap out with whatever one they already had. So oh. Evan is probably carrying all the prisoners, the droids, the stormtroopers, the pilots. Oh, you don't need to worry about the droids. All we got to do is attach new restraining bolts onto them and start getting okay. the plans. All right. Yeah, how many of are fine. how many of these prisoners are you guys taking? All of them. Uh, what's that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight Imperial prisoners you're going to hand over to that one guy on the backwater planet? I mean, who's no, the... No, no, we're going to find... Yeah. Who, who's the most highest rank? Probably one of the pilots. Like, actually, all of the pilots will outrank the stormtroopers, but they're all, like, very entry-level. Is there a bounty office? Is there a New Republic bounty office anywhere? <laughs> no, so the New Republic bounty... Okay, so technically the Imperial Remnant has signed the Galactic Concordance. Um, the Remnant actually even has a, a, a senatorial representative, mm -hmm. um, but they are flagrantly disobeying most of the, <laughs> the rules of the Senate. Yeah. So uh, the, the bounties would be on, like, fugitives, like high-ranking officers, ex-moths mm -hmm. and things. These guys are, were probably cons conscripted six months ago. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll take... We'll take two, fear... kill the rest. I mean, not kill the no. rest. No. Put the fear of God on them, but, you know... <laughs> Maybe find a different Do career. Do we want to recruit any? I mean, they're new stone troopers. Nah. Oh, yeah. They could ditch oh, the yeah. armor and be rebels. I'll, I'll, I'll actually ask. Any of you want out of the Empire... Um, I think they kind of look at each other, and, um, it, I mean, if it's an option between that and death. It's an option between that or staying here let's, and, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's mention as well that you, you also have to, uh, you know, not go back. He, like, this is not, a. Uh, Who's who's gonna be disloyal to the Empire and who is just trying to survive? They are all just trying to survive. We can't leave them here. Yeah, we can. We could use more crew. We're not adding. Or We've got B ones. B ones are cheap. They're all stupid. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> we'll take one of the higher ranking ones. And... and we we'll scuttle the rest of the ships on the way out. Okay. And the... Yeah, and and I mean we should fill these whatever cargo holds are on these ships with like guns and whatever is being manufactured. Oh yeah, take all of the guns. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a couple crates of the E-11s, minus three, and... What is this crate? I'm sorry? What is in this crate? That's the E-11s that they were coming to pick up. Ah. Um, yeah, that's what the, the factory was, was producing. Um, the droids have several uh, E-5 blaster carbines that are in okay shape if you guys are interested um medium range and super inaccurate um how about we no. uh give the astrobat guy time to you know download all anything he needs in this place oh he's already got it all yeah he's okay. already got yeah it. he was ready like, to leave scuttling. he just wanted to capture them to catch we're them scuttling. And... i think our thing is we're scuttling every everything and then we're asking if anyone wants like Literally, if anyone wants to join the Rebellion, or the New Republic. Yeah, none of them want to join the New Republic. Um, I mean, they come from systems controlled by the Empire, so, I mean, just from a from an indoctrination point of view, you're still the enemy. Uh, then I guess we just tied them up and let the Empire come for them. No, we don't even need to tie them up. We scuttled all the ships. We scuttled the projection plant. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. We should use the. Uh... <laughs> we should just use the turret to take care of the production plant. Yeah. Oh yeah. Piece yeah. of cake. You don't even need to roll. Do, 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 yeah. do, do. <laughs> <laughs> it rains fire. <laughs> don't do too many of those. Those are graphics intensive. 
Yeah, everybody's ping is still under 100. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> but cool. So we got two X Wings, a TIE Interceptor, an Advanced TIE, and two crates of Advanced E11, E11. Blaster Rifles. Uh, I ain't calling this one Baba, Baby, Bobo, and Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> The whole pile of. <laughs> yeah, and not to mention our pile of B1s. Yes, yes. and your pile of B1s. <laughs> okay, so those will end up in your ship. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Back to uh, Mr. Yeah, so I think I will end with. Uh, the the cuddly Bantha taking off and, you know, the secondary explosions lighting off on this place mm -hmm. in the background. Mm -hmm. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Um, we will return to your uh, quest giver at the beginning of the next session. Uh, but first, there is a little bit of housekeeping to do. Who... Is a force user. I am. I am. Okay, so we'll start with Tara because she said I am first. Uh, what did you do this session? You killed a bunch of guys as they were crawling away from the burning wreckage of their crashed ship. Um, so I'm gonna say that's two conflict. Two dark side points. No. Oh. Uh, generating. I didn't have you guys roll for your check. I didn't use any force whatsoever. Um, roll 1d10. Okay, uh, I can't spawn any. Oh, right. Uh, James and Tara. Okay, roll 1d10. And you want to roll high. Both of us? Four. Four. You are okay. Uh, James, you shot down an incoming transport ship uh, without knowing anything about it other than the fact that it was an Imperial ship. Uh, you also killed the guy, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you six conflicts. Go ahead and roll your d10. You killed a guy when he was laying on the ground. Three. Three. Okay, your morality decreases by two. You're now at 48. Ooh. That's uh, not good. Tom. He just punched a bunch of B1 droids. Yeah. And I told him not to, you know... Pull the ship out of here. Uh, yeah, you didn't, you didn't get any, any conflict. I don't think. So he's just at fifty still. Uh, yes. Um. Um. I take it back, Terry. Yours goes up by one. Your morality. Oh. Yes. Uh, and Tom, because you didn't generate any conflict, you don't have the opportunity to grow from it. Gotcha. So your yours doesn't go up or down. Okay. He did have the choice of killing the ones on the ground, but he chose to disarm them. Wouldn't that count for something good? You would think so, but basically what this is representing is, um, sort of the, the... When something complex happens, the ability to, to grow from it or like when you have the, the dark thoughts and then turn away from them, it's more developing to a Jedi, I guess. Also, yes. is this big enough to carry on the ship? Uh, it's small enough to carry on the ship, yeah. Can we join it too? 
<laughs> yes. Oh, so we got we have a sand speeder. All right. Uh, I think that is a lovely place to end. I'm just gonna focus in on this burning building. Okay. Uh, this has been Star Trek Distant Suns. Thank you for bearing Star with us. Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, it was Star Wars, not Star Trek. Uh, thank you for bearing with us as we figured out the rules of a uh, system that not many of us have played before. And also with our uh, sort of crowbarring in of the more tactical X-Wing series. Uh, when we get into fighter space combat, A, that'll go a little smoother. And B, um, I feel like it'll be a little more dynamic. Um, all right. Joining us tonight in the opposite order we went before... Tom. Hey, I'm Tom. I played Jin, the uh, first using martial artist. Who could not roll a success. Yeah, who could not roll a success to save his life. <laughs> I think I rolled one the entire game. but <laughs> Or no, no, I made it some successes when I was firing the, the ship's guns. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, and Tara. Hey, I'm Tara, the... Murder, uh, murderer of B1 droids. <laughs> and James. Hey, I'm James. I mean, I got a full Imperial shuttle. I feel pretty damn good about that. Not a competition. And Everoth. Hello, I was Everoth. And I was also Evan, who will very eloquently will remind everyone... <laughs> I am Colin. I was the GM this evening. We do sci-fi every Thursday. Uh, it's going to be Star Wars for a while. We might bounce back and check in with the crew of the Percival for Star Trek again sometime in the future. Uh, we are the Kobold Cafe. You can find us on twitch.tv slash Kobold Cafe. We're at the koboldcafe.com where we're going to actually start putting some content up someday. Uh, Twitter at Kobold Cafe. We're active like four or five days a week, so check out our schedule because we're always we're always doing something. Uh, did I forget anything? Nope. All right. Well then, say good night, everybody. <laughs>